This is the one you'd want to come in and look strong on. Of course, Summon FC did not love this map. We did not see them lean towards it, but map two, we know it's coming, it's Icebox, but we'll get there when we get there. This is the start. Heretics on the attack. Defensive side will be Summon FC. What's standing out to you right now? What's standing out to me is that they've, they've literally reverted to the default that we saw in Ascent the other day. Uh, they're going to sit here. They're going to hold on to this space. Niso again was in that position, top mid, just waiting for something to be given up by the enemy team. Right now, doesn't look like Summon's really all that poised to try and take any map control outside, just controlling that mid lane. And again, really giving up A and holding on to short, really, with that emphasis. A little bit of a lean towards B now. You can see four members and Nisa rotating through the spawn as well. Now the push comes down here, look. Yeah, that short push looks like it's been considered, at least by the attacking side of Heretics. They did play quite patient towards B, but now there's, the burst is happening. Jet's already out. You're going to have everyone pouring through. Killjoy is still tucked to the back of the site, so just purely staying alive, buying time is Chak's main job. And already that job is being done exceedingly well. War is gone, but the trade comes in. Now, Spike to be planted. Let's see if they posture for a retake, bide their time, or try and get maybe a cheeky pick Spike here. Planted. Yeah, Lisa holding on to B, man. We've talked about that time and time again this week, how crucial that is in a post-plant for the attacking team. Three stacked up, look like they're going to try and play off this recon bolt from Mo. Comes through, here comes the explosion. Yeah, they're going to try and play this one back in, but we are looking towards that play coming in from Niso. I want to see if he gets the timing just right. He did before and he might do it again, but let's find out. Mo with some good trades. Niso finally shows his face, and that's the timing we were waiting for. Lowell just needs to play patient, and he does. This looks like Heretics are going to get the first one on the board here as Boaster tries to do everything he can, but you can see this is Niso showing you why that position is so so powerful. It buys so much time, it creates that secondary threat. Again, you've got to worry about the site, you've got to worry about site entry, using utility to block off B main is such a huge factor for the team retaking. But one thing I will say again, that was rehearsed Enemy. from Heretics. They went to their default, the same thing we saw against G2. They wait for those cooldowns on the utility, get the, 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 uh, the smokes back and whatnot. The thing is, Summon didn't bite until all that smoke and whatnot dropped in mid. They pushed out short, they got contact, and by that point, you know, Heretics are ready to explode onto B. Good little first statement from the Heretics, but Summon, of course, going to be quite, I guess, reserved. Let's look at the purchase. It is a Sheriff coming through, so maybe Doma could do a bit more of damage, but it looks like a... I, I, I don't want to say a gamble stack. It is just a stack at this point. They still have... Who would it be? Mo there, sitting towards the very deep side of middle, just maybe jump spotting or keeping track of anyone pushing up mid. But Doma will get first contact. He does uh, get himself out of danger. Quick little smoke goes up. Nothing lost, no harm, no foul. It does mean they give up some map control, however. I like this though, and again, Heretics did lean heavily towards B-side. And I mean, talk about heavy, it's a five-man push coming through here. Of Overwatch is going to catch a headshot here, Niso with an entry as well. They've only seen Doma so far, that was the only player that they'd seen, so there is still danger to be had here. Let's see if those pistols can do anything. So far, the answer is pretty much no, Mystic, not bad, but Boaster now on 1v3. If there was a bit more damage done, I could maybe read into it, but for now, just the classic. Probably not going to get him too far. I like the stack, though. I like the intention. Bosa, let's see those moves. Oh. There you go. Lowell's going to get it, but a good start. I, I like that from someone FC. Honestly, the concept of gamble stacking a site that we know heretics do favor. Yeah, and again, it, it plays into that theory. You know, someone obviously have done their homework coming to this event. They've done a lot of prep and... You know, talking about the anti-stratum factors, it's already showing early on here. So I'm excited really to see how many variations we're going to see from Summon, whether or not specifically they have anything they want to pull against Heretics on the defensive side to try and break that map control. I'm going to be honest, I reached out to Sliggy at the start of the day. I think the man's got a great brain for this game. I was like, what do you think makes Heretics so good? One word response, lol. <laughs> That's it, he was just like, there's your man. Shout out to you, Slig. Appreciate it. But still, Summon buying back in. I do want to see the purchase. It does look decent. They've got all rifles up. Everything's looking pretty comfortable. Of course, Heretics having a little left over here. Two of those SMGs still out to play. A Vova and Poro with that. Very serviceable. And a bit more of a, a standard default. Kind of taking mid control for now. Or at least their half of it. But we have been seeing that jump spotting. This time, it looks like Mo has kind of shifted away from it, leaving it more to Doma, but it's going to be Boaster to swing on that mid-contact. They actually get it. Looks like Boaster's very aware. Finding comes out, but doesn't push on the peak. Well, let's see, Spike making his way over towards Catwalk as well, so I'm not sure if Heretics have seen something they don't like, but Avova and Lowell kind of hesitating a little bit around mid. Doma now just needs to hold contact on market. Wall does go down. Lowell's managed to block off that market angle. 
I die. like that. Mo's gonna find Pora, so that's gonna at least make them feel a little secure, but the response is to play up short. Nukes found Mystic, so that puts Chak under pressure. It's gonna put all the other players trying to get over under pressure, but they're holding. Heretics want more, and they're gonna find more, but not in the way they fancied. Nukes gonna being caught off guard as Doma does left. find a bit of safety. Falls away, no spike plant yet, no need to overpush on this. Well, actually, Mo's going to find another kill elsewhere. So just two members of Heretics left now. Of Overwatch going to TP off to the top of Jen. He's going to find Doma. What? Niso finds Jack as well. This is a 4v2, and now the two players remaining are from the same area. Boaster and Mo are both on short. Now the plant comes in. Nisal's going to be on that, and it's going to be Avova Five watching and waiting, anticipating for the play, but didn't expect both to come through from short. Avova, a quick adjustment. Spots one, that's Boaster now tagged up, but you can see it all being thrown in. Has to swing, and Mo's there. Great retake from Summon FC. That could have gone dangerous. You do not want to lose 2v4s. That could be a it tilt factor. Awesome. They kept control. They played it back in well. Nicely handled by Summon FC. No, really, really good stuff. I mean, initially, Doma played his life very effectively, buying enough time for that rotation to come through on short. But one thing Summon looked fantastic at doing the other day was retaking. And that comes down to that synergy factor. Again, the, you know, stacking up two bodies in. They go for those trades. Again, another fantastic example of that here. So that's, that's a good indicator, and it gets them off the starting blocks, which is very important, I feel, for Summon FC, because they're still younger players in my mind. Yes, you know, they've got experience in their own kind of realm and in their own sort of areas, but those nerves can hinder anyone. But for now, Get we go back into way. this, and it looks like a very heavy lean towards B. No Already man, ultimate popped. Make it two. Here we go. Boaster's in danger. Gotta be careful. He just soaks that. And that's going to be a problem now. Mo is so isolated, so alone. No support on the way. Can Mo do anything? Yes, he can. Mo somehow is bailing them out. Spins around on a dime and still gets a Vova. But now the spike is going to be planted. It's a 3v3 for now. Yeah, spike Mo goes planted. absolutely huge finding those two, making it all but possible once again for someone to pull off this retake. Doma does get the crack in the wall here, and all three are going to stack up. Again, worried about that B main presence, but all these players stacked up. Lowell actually finds the wall bang onto Mystic. Yeah, Jack now has to be thrown into this one. He knows the time is ticking. Poor is not going to let them get a step forward, and it's shut down. Heretics. Very nice post plant. And now we've seen the two looks. We've seen the successful retake from Summon, and we've seen a very solid post plant from Heretics. Yeah, again, maybe utility is a factor there uh, on the retake. And again, you know, it was definitely a factor for Heretics in terms of holding that. The recon bolt over on that site, absolutely lethal, especially if you've got bodies on the site ready to obviously shoot through that wall past the switch. Now the money looks like it's going to be depleted enough that will force them into a partial or at least an upgraded pistol round. So frenzies, sheriffs, bits and pieces, but not too much to write home about. And both are actually going to... Again, optimism, I like it. A yeah. little bit of excitement early on, but this is what obviously what Heretics were so good at, and we've talked about it in that series versus G2, is just sitting so yeah. deep. Their default setup allows them to kind of wait for a team to play into them. And it, it's kills like that we see. Again, you know, pistol on both the sides. So it was optimistic with the frenzy. Yeah. And anti-ecos are a thing that it looks like heretics are very well prepared for. You can see the patience, the consistency and approach. Dome has been able to get some room, but no one's really heading this way. They're retaking towards middle after picking up two kills around this area now. Pretty much three. They'll be pretty happy with this one. And it's very clean from heretics. And Mr. Katia able to dodge that one. The paranoid is through. He finds something, but Niso, nearsighted, doesn't matter. Still finds the headshot. Doma now. Again, no clue where he was, but he does find that one. And a prime gaming flawless coming out of Heretics here. Nice round. Again, good damage control there. Good control of the territory around the map. Didn't allow you know, someone to tuck into any small spots and, and, and wait for those cheeky little kills with the pistols. And I think, honestly, controlling anti-ecos like this, so when, for example, Heretics this round are on that full purchase and on the other side do have the upgraded pistols, being able to control that and maintain and kind of negate the ability to getting picked off and losing weapons, it's going to be a big skill in Valorant going forward. And you can tell it's rehearsed. Just, just that there, Nuki puts the cloud burst on the wall, preventing that breach flash coming through and kind of minimizing that risk from any push. Okay, back in though. Boaster, a little bit of a switch up. Op is out. Let's have a little check and see where he's going to take that. Looks like towards middle for now. Doma there too. Alts are up as well, so we could see a couple coming through if needed. And Heretics once again taking their time. However, a different look. Looks like an alien this time. Revealing air. A couple of ultimates on the board as well. Recon Bolt going to go all the way above tree. Won't reveal anything, I don't think, but 
much heavier on. There's a lot of utility down on the entry here, but poor Atti finds Doma on the way in chat now. Holding onto this trio. He's got a back up. Nuki Atti finds Mystic behind him. Yeah, two free picks, no trades, barely any damage done. This is looking gorgeous for Heretics. They'll be very happy on this take. And with that up in play, you really have to consider your options. An incredibly expensive investment. Yep. You don't want to lose that, and they are very tricky to make work on retakes unless you're Wardell. Look, well, the amount of times that. I'm like, look, <laughs> classically, you know, in other games, we just don't see them going for it because, you know, it's really hard to make work. And then Wardell's like, watch me. So, you know, yeah. I've learned my lesson. But for now, someone would probably like to keep hold of these guns, if anything. Boaster going down is actually a big problem. That's the operator. Yeah. yeah. Chat finds Nuki in mid. Top Mo down. actually finds Pora top mid as well. But now just want to back out and hold on to this again. <sighs> Economy-wise... This is uh, it's going to be a tough fight to buy back into this. I want to, and Niso finding Mo is not going to make it any easier, that's for sure. Looks like Jack's going to be able to hold on to his at least. Yeah, I want to see the state of the money actually for summon now. Uh, I don't think an op's going to be available. Yeah, definitely not 3k on Boaster. A little unfortunate, I feel as though if they did maintain those three, you could have maybe forced well, around them. Exactly. It, it's awkward now because you've only got the one on the board. Um, and ultimately, I, I can see, obviously, Doma's got his ultimate available. I mean, Mo's got his as well. You can use those both very aggressively. Uh, but whether or not they're going to opt to invest those into this round. Mystic actually... Oh, he was thinking about it. The one thing I, I do want to highlight as well, I want to see Doma and Boaster get into the game a get bit out of my One way. kill so far. Uh, it's been hard on the economy for them, but if you especially have that jet coming in for Domo, and that's something that definitely caught the desk's attention, you want to show a bit of presence. Especially on a map like this, it can be incredibly vital. But again, it's still relatively early. We are six rounds in, but I'd like to see a bit more play. And it looks like they're being a little proactive, so trying to maybe get that work to come in for themselves, bring those pistols into areas where they could maybe at least even the playing field. Yeah, again, you know, boast of walking out mid with the Frenzy. This is a different variation to try and get value on these eco rounds. Again, put the pistols to work where they're going to be able to find the best efficiency. Ah. Poor actually going to swing on this and find Mo. Boast up with the counter flash, but they were playing this well initially. Oh, maybe not the second, though. Maybe not expecting that, but I didn't see it go through in the kill feed. Doman now with the blade storm okay. popped. So this they have opted to invest a little. Yeah, this is a bigger investment. That's another gun basically on the board, but Lol's found Boaster, so. Problems beginning, but look at the surround. There's two already coming through middle. They lost mid control, maybe over believing in that chat could have maybe kept control of that. But with only a pistol, what are you meant to do? Mystic now going to be called upon to do, flawless. I don't know, anything. It's going to be 7 1 and it's flawless. Of course, the prime gaming flawless there. But it is Heretics going through the motions, it feels like. Heretics doing what they did in the second half of their game versus G2 on Ascent, which is playing it slow. Wait for control. I mean, first kill came through with 55 seconds left on the clock there. They're, they're happy to sit there and wait for someone to show their hand. Wait to get some information and react off it. I mean, poor finding the first one pretty much for free is obviously a factor. But I'm liking this from Heretics because it took him a while to respond and be flexible with what G2 were doing on the map the other day. I do want to find out as well how many tactical timeouts are available in best of five series. Just because oh, for Summon, a 6-1 scoreline is very drastic, but it looks like early aggressions could be called into play, but if Ova's off angle could be a disaster. That's one. I thought the second could have come through, but no. Mo denies it, and Nuki is there. It is going to be traded back Take through flight. to a 3v3. So still, look at this. Where is the rest of the play going to come from? Mo still wants the information. Not allowing any re-aggress from the heretic side. And you can see all this investment. Boaster, he's pushing this one. That is bold. Old, and maybe a bit of a waste here, but yeah, caught off guard. That's a bit of a shame. They've retaken the territory and they've shown why they play this passive hold. Summon, it's if you're so not going to commit all the way, you're going to get caught off like this. I like the intention from Summon. Let's talk about what they were trying to do there. Again, I think this is down to Summon. Looking at the game the other day, looking how heavily Heretics leaned over to the B site and kind of banking on that default setup being their kind of crutch, so to say. So the Rolling Thunder comes out. Actually, Hunter's Fury gets invested again a couple of seconds after that. But the problem is, Heretic's default is so deep. It's so deep away from that choke point, they're allowed to play these long open angles. And ultimately there, you know, summon, they're committed at that point. They've invested the ultimates, they've swung out. They need to double down on that. And just had confirmation, it's one timeout per map for a tactical here. Oh, now, oh, again, yeah. it is a best of five series, so this is longer. But for someone, I do feel as though you need to get control of the play pace and come up with maybe some sort of theory. Maybe saving it for second half, but if you only have one round, that's not much to play with. 
Anyway, into this we go, a heavy lean towards B, a 4-1 split with Jet getting attention towards short, trying to maybe pull a rotation, which actually they could do it, but success! Boaster gets caught with his pants down, unfortunate for him, but the hit's still coming in regardless. I don't know if the Heretics still want to commit to this, they could peel away! Oh, lol could do that, poor is there! This is brutal to watch, Summon have not turned up this morning just yet. No, nope, they haven't, Doma still over in heaven over here. But uh, just a clean hit once again. These B takes that Heretics are so good for these clearances right now. And it's methodical. They clean angle by angle, spot by spot. And again, Lowell, you know, Spike 15 planted. seconds into that execution, he's walling up. He's finding another angle for someone to worry about. And it, they, they get value from every single swing they make. Now, I, I think the main point to take away from this is if you're a Summon fan, this was not a map that they ever looked towards. This was not a map that they wanted to really come into play. This was very much a Heretics choice. We had seen the downside of Heretics on this. It wasn't always just, you know, clean sailing, smooth sailing, but they looked substantially more comfortable. I, I mean, uh, they'd lost this to Team Liquid. Exactly. Um, and, th and that was, don't, don't get me that, that was a brawl, an all out brawl for them on, on Ascent. But I mean, this time around, it, it comes down to a Wait, couple of things we. Liquid, is that Screaming Team or? Uh, this time it's coming down uh, <laughs> a lot more to uh, control. And, and Heretics, you know, dictating yep. the pace here. They're the ones that are happy to take a step back. And Niso the other day in that top mid position as part of uh, their default, just time and time again was finding value. This time around, someone have only played into it two or three times, but they're still finding these executions based on the information they find in the early round. And just checking in on the score there for some of these players. <laughs> Boaster, he, he, you, you can tell... It's an animated chat. Yeah, yes. exactly. <laughs> I do want to say, though, every single player from the Heretics, scoreboard-wise, is turning up, which is a scary prospect to come up against. It looks like they're all finding a, a good amount of comfort here, and they're getting that ball rolling early. This will be a little bit of an uphill one for Summon, but they're going to force into this with whatever they can. It is going to be judges. It's going to be an SMGs. It's a little bit... Rough around the edge. Well, the, the problem is that kill spread is a big factor, especially when we talk about snowballing and Valorant ultimates come online. If everybody's picking up kills, those ultimates are all coming along. If it's just one person carrying, you know, you're only really getting that utility usage out of the one person in terms of ultimate abilities. On the other side of things, some are going to struggle to get those things online as well. Cover going out. Okay, let's see what someone can achieve with this. I want to look specifically towards them in this round, see what their intentions are. It looks like a stack towards A, four players, at least two towards the site and two towards short. And to be fair, if that means they get the kill on Jet and that maybe opens up the rest of the map, not a bad plan. But Mystic is the one going to be charged with dealing with this, as you can see the Killjoy peeling away in the background. And oh gosh, the accuracy is just filthy from Nuki, and he wants more as well. Doma's in trouble, but Doma deals with it. And we're looking towards him to get that performance building because we know he is a game changer. But that was all a fake. The spike is still going to be. And look at where They're the holding. opposing Killjoy is. Look at Pora's position. These rotations left. are horrible. However, if Boaster kills these two, it's still game on. But it's going to be a tough task. Gets it in, gets the frag, looks for more. Oh. He can't convert it though. Niso still holds on to this. But look at Sage towards middle. That's going to buy time. Planted. Such a nuisance play from LOL. That is excellent positioning. Finds Doma as well. Looking to just cost any retake potential Not away from really Summon. Ending. Pora knows it too well. Information's relayed. And Mo, time to save. Well, I mean, with a judge. Yeah. <laughs> How much do you love that thing? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the one thing, you make a fantastic point about Pora, the fact that he's able to get so deep so quickly, obviously with the only defender remaining all the way in backside. I mean, he, Pora set up all his utility in the defensive spawn. So he had that early information. He knows that they can push out and they can stack three or four people just to clear that one remaining member. Then, building on top of that, Lowell, the wall goes up. That's more time, more time that Heretics are able to buy and keep Summon FC away from that site. So again, I do want to reiterate for those tuning in, if maybe you haven't watched too many best of fives, the way this plays out, it's pick pick, right? So you might see some one-sided starts. You'll see, you know, very favorable maps here because you cannot remove maybe the, the map you don't like playing. So that's why we get the likes of Icebox next. So again, don't get too worried yet. We look towards, you know, once we get to Haven, if we get to Bind, Split, these sort of maps are the big scary ones. For now, this is playing exceedingly well for Heritage but it is a marathon, not a sprint here. I would also just like to say, prep-wise on Bind, we saw how meticulous that setup from Summon FC was and yes. how they were able to literally bully their way through that series, uh, sorry, that map with uh, 
couple of Kobe's. It, it doesn't look like we've got much of a reliance here on defense from Summon FC. So yeah. I'd be interested to know if this is a little <gasps> bit. Oh, so that poor finds that one. <laughs> oh, they're so sharp today. Just a little bit of a, a weak spot for Summon FC. Yeah, just a bit. I mean, the problem is. I've got to say, heretics aim-wise are just on point. This is a four by from Summon, and right now they're being walked through. Boaster is trying to keep this together, but paranoid about that mid-presence. And right to B as such, Lowell's been a nuisance in middle, but he's not there this time. Revive comes in, and you're right. Look at these late lurks towards middle. The retakes are funneled, and even with that sage wall towards the defender's side, there is no other way around it. You have to face heretics. You can't try and get deeper off angles, go on flanks. None of that is being allowed. Check does get poorer. Does he check his corner well enough? No, trade comes back in, and it's just Mystic now. A 1v4 presented. Let's see how far he can get towards this. Not being subtle, already being heard. They know exactly where he's coming from. Yeah, all utility, but again, at this point, it's the decision you make. Do you go for some damage, try and save your weapon? Again, just get swung and over, finds it. The important thing to note here, haven't seen much in the form of utility usage other than that play out of Last B main here. Jack, I'm hat. pretty sure, has had his lockdown since about round five. Uh, Avova, obviously, he's got his, his TP from the shadows. Again, maybe not one that you want to, it's an audible kind of ultimate, but again, when three people can swing in B main, find both of those picks on B site, you can leave Niso in that position at top mid. You can leave Nukia in mid, holding on to tiles, because you know that you don't need to sacrifice anything else to get control of the site. If Paul is going to swing in and find two every time, leave people lurking. Ooh, we've got the wall to be popped up. I like this. No ops coming out either for Heretics at all. Dome has got the first one too. That's a bit of a difference. We haven't seen that first pick going go. through and they're going to push the matter. Press the issue. Nice work. They've doubled down for the trades. LOL is so good for this. Constant pressure, constant nuisance. Heal comes back in, but he's getting damaged. Has to take the fight and loses it. We're finally getting a bit of a bite back from Summon. But Heretics, they're happy to fight this. The spike is left in the clutches. Where is Bora coming from, though? Let's have a little look as well towards his position. Milky oh, with a Ferrari peek around the corner. Oh, Heretics, this is just brutal to watch. Brutal is the word. Switching yeah. sides. Um, and again, I mean, being proactive in the last round there, I like that approach, but we only really saw it in one of the other rounds where, like I said, where we had an, a heavy investment. Look at this. Just nice. Doma absolutely ripping his head off there. They need to warm up here. Boaster, three kills. Mystic, two kills. Doma, four kills. Jack, five. It, it's been quiet. Aside from maybe Mo, you could say, has got nine. But he, it's not just, you know, the fact of fragging. It's not that. It's to feel warmed up. It's to feel in the game. It's that, you know, if, once you get... I, I hate to say it, but having a hot hand is such a big thing in these games. Once you come in and you're starting to feel yourself, the game falls into place. Yeah, I mean, we could talk about it on both sides of the coin here. Confidence boosters. Heretics come in hot off of that series. Yeah. Again, you know, they really warmed up to towards the end of it. Summon, you can say exactly the same thing. Hold that thought for the time being. Now we're going to get a lot of territory at you with this Aldo, and they're back all the way up. And we're used to seeing Heretics do this, this setup on A, the heavy emphasis onto Short in this tree and garden area. Okay. Well, Doma's got himself quite far ahead from the others, kind of securing Careful. path and passage. Avova did find Doma. I'm not sure if he was facing that. I guess he was to be able to yeah. give it up towards heaven, which is a bit unfortunate. Now they're going to be operating with just four. Spike is towards the site now, but you can see they're being wrapped in that Killjoy flank, though. Chak. Chak could be a game changer here. I hope we check in on him once he kind of presses this corner. I wonder if they get the alarm bell to ring and they work out that he is going to be a problem. Boaster, the trade, though. 4v3, Moe's low. Boaster low. They've got to commit to this, though. Nookie is doing all the damage. And Chak's flank is a little too late in the day. That is going to be 12 getting on the board for Heretics. And just coming to that point, I made it the style around confidence boosters. If we see this, an absolute lockout from Heretics on map one, yes, we can argue map pool, but you've Match got to say point. they're starting on a very strong foot here. This, this is momentum. It's yeah, always this, his momentum. This is where we're going to see the likes of Mini making his money, right? If you can untilt your team, if you can get the focus in the right place, if you can rebuild that confidence going into map two, One because this remaining. has not been competitive. This has been very one-sided and it's hard mentally to untilt from this, to reset and get that confidence back beside you. But it's not over yet. One more round for map one. We're going to have a little bit of an early play. And it looks like an all-in play as well towards B. It looks like someone's going to get this going, maybe get it going towards map two. Jack is going to find Niso, but there's so many bodies here, so much utility. 
It's just a, a, a grinder. They're all going in and they're all dying for it. Rotations are coming around. The Jets on the flank. They are being cornered and they are being back. Handed. This was a welcome to the grand finals, ladies and gents. This is not going to be nice. There is no pleasantries here. We're good in like a 13-1, but their fundamentals are in place. Now, we are seeing the double Viper coming out. We're going to have some fun with this. <laughs> and again, this is one of the first times I'll ever get to cast. Icebox is the first real look we've had in Europe of this. It was in one of the map pools before, but it never got there. So let's see what the play is. This is everyone learning together what is the intention. You can already see one of those walls invest by Avova and the first bit of contact getting made. And Nisa actually finding the kill elsewhere, but uh, nothing actually coming down that B lane initially. Nisa, I'm not sure, I guess one of these long angles over on the A site, and he's actually the only one over here, so a key anchor role here for Niso to hold down this side of the map. And finding the kill already is huge for him. Yeah, and I saw the wall that came out from Mystic. It's very like the one, it's very similar to the one we saw actually in a couple of the previous games in other regions. Coming out, it just gives you a good step towards mid control, which is normally a big point of focus. But Boaster feeling a little bold here, going kind of under the cubby, looking for it. Going to hear the jet, going to hear everything that's going on here. And this is going to be now Heretics peeling away a little, giving up some territory, but they were fighting for that B long control initially. Yeah, Nuki backing all the way up. Get that heal out of Lowell. Now, actually, Nuki hunting elsewhere. Maybe going to look towards mid. Boast up with the lineup here. We'll have to get the, the verdict from Jonas if we uh, if we do see much Stover action this time around. I imagine there is some some cheese that the guy, these guys have got lined up. But Boast is still poised towards the B site. And the rest of Simon actually coming left. back this way now. So just maybe waiting on a rotation out. Hold but on, the but thing is, Heretics haven't. Yeah, but look I at the, the jet play from Nuki and Mid. He's got so much information. They've been able to three-play stack towards B. This is a little scary now if you're someone you're walking into a stack and they have no idea of it. They've left it so late on the clock. It's down to 15 seconds. Yes, the wall's there. It will give you some control, but Poor are getting a little ahead of himself. And now down in towards the final throws of it. The spike does get planted. Boaster holds on for now. Lowell, though, going to make an appearance. Looks for one, doesn't find him, but Niso does. Good trade and a touch on the spike. You can see the damage gets done. Lowell has to back away. Now, where is that other player? coming in on that retake. Chak is still lingering around as well. He's so back on the spike. You can see the damage now ticking away. Doesn't have to get Last off it just yet. Amazing. Gets it to halfway and now Chak left in a 1v2. Let's see his perspective here. Let's see what he does about this one. He will have to commit eventually and it's going to be right now. The diffuser's coming in. He has to stop it and he can't. LOL keeps them safe and the first on the board for Heretics. Really good stuff. Heretics don't bow to the pressure at all. They default to that kind of play style we've seen now, which is that slow, progressive wait to react left. off this information. The only thing was a four a bit very early there from the push. And the execution yep. was clean. The utility lineups, you can see already that preparation factor we've talked about for some NFC. Recon Bolt goes over. The Viper utility goes over. The Sage utility goes over. All synergized to the same. The hit was really, really good. The one thing is Heretics peeled so far back to get that Sage heal. They, they gave up the site and opted for the retake and it was clean. Toxins going up. Buys for both sides now. Actually, not necessarily mirrored, but very close to. We do see at least a Marshall out for Nuki. I want to see how that gets okay. utilized. Very similar That's wall up. coming out from the defending side too. Not seeing that invested just yet, but the attack is very, uh, I guess, characterized APs coming through. It's looking brawly for now. Niso still holds the ground. Going to peel away slightly, but Poor has found one. That's Mo gone, and Niso now gets a clean fight. A 1v1. No trades. Where are the trades going? Heretics are running rampant here. Oh, Summon, you better have more up your sleeve than this, because at the moment, Heretics look ready for this. Jack's now available, though. He's going to isolate Poor. Yeah, yeah, Trade yeah. comes in from Niso, not allowing that kill to go unanswered. As now Mystic, a 1v3, surrounded, spotted, noted, tagged, dead. A Vova gonna do it, and Heretics now doubling down. That was a buy back in for Summon. Yeah, it wasn't a really fast hit based on they want to put those SMGs to work immediately in the early round. The thing is, this position here from Domi, you were talking about the lack of the trade there. As soon as Niso gets back up to top site, it's so difficult. If he gets a kill, you cannot trade that from the position Domi's playing. And again, we don't know the depth of Heretics here. We know that Summon have gone to this as a map that they feel more comfortable on than Ascent. That's all we know. This is very much us coming in blind as well. We're kind of learning how this looks and who looks better. I've got to say the fundamentals, again, for Heretics, with the trading, the early map control, the wall coming out from Avova, it all oh makes perfect God. sense. We do see the wall back, but it is a very similar A piece coming out. Everyone's there, full stack. You're going to see Niso backing away from... Oh, Boaster. It's got to feel bad. Not like this. Yeah, not like this at all. Hopefully they get a spike plant and a pick. That's what you're kind of looking for. They do have sheriffs. 
A little bit of armor for Doma as well. It is a light investment. It's not a full one, but you do want something for this. Niso again finding oh, value from the high ground. Four foot bomb with the turret oh. up top. Lowell follows up with the Spectre. A nice headshot from Mo, but the damage fall off means he won't <laughs> find the kill for that one. The zip line play it. comes through. They're trying to swarm him now. Mo going to fall all the way back here. The Prime Gaming flawless from Team Heretics will put three on the board for them now. Okay, for Summon, it's got to be looking towards that gun round. That has to be the bounce back point because keep in mind, this is their map and momentum is a thing. Confidence is a thing. And they have been beaten down on the first map, but you can chalk that up to, hey, we, we don't play that map. That's not ours, don't worry. Next map, we're fine. You come in, you go down 0-3. That mentality is going to be brought into question. But here is this purchase. This is where it has to change for Summon. Yeah, I want to see them do something with this wall throughout mid. Again, it blocks off that boiler spot. It obviously cuts the tube in half as well. Maybe a little bit of mid presence is something that some of the way to show. The wall goes up. That's Hello. nice. I like that updraft. It's going to give them a dirty angle over the top of tube. They have been sweating it. You can see some know their angles, but Avova gets a little bit of fire and he's like, you know what, I don't need to peek this. As Nuki's already found Mystic. Where has he got that from? That was just a nice little angle he's been able to create for himself. And Nisao very much up for the fight as well. We're seeing a defensive side opting to take the fight in middle, unafraid, but Doma does do the damage. Avova now being caught off does open up a chance towards the site. Looking towards B, there are two players here, almost three. The attacking side does have good ground, though. Finally, things are falling into the place. Lol, though, looks unfazed by the ultimate. He's just dodging it like it's easy. So, so if that's actually under the box, Niso will find one. The chat trades back on to Pora. Now the cloud burst holding off this line of sight. Actually, a drop to Mo will fall as well. The showstopper pulled out now. Niso Spike's going. Try and convert They're something, off. but like you said, Spike's elsewhere. Nice work from someone. This is a very good call. Every single player for Heretics was left towards B. So a really good shout from them. I do want to see maybe a good post bomb for Chak. Left. I want to see him try and get involved. Maybe wrap around mid or something. I love to see some creativity, but that's bold. Well, this, is, this is the thing. They have such deep control now with, a, with the lack of presence from Heretics. Obviously, everything coming over to the B site. And that one spot that you saw Chak in has been the downfall for Summon FC so far on these A hits. Okay, let's watch this retake go down now. Spike is planted. And there's that mid look. That's what I wanted to see come out from Jack. I do worry that the timing might be a little dangerous, but he's going to cut it short and just kind of take his time, still saying, kind of staying around a supportive place for Boaster. Caution being shown, but Heretics, the time's ticking. You've got to get a move on now. They've got to find these fights and find them clean. Nothing being presented. Boaster boys are taking their time. They're playing patient and they make their presence noted at just the right time. Lol knows this one's done for. Good answer from Summon. Good thing there from him as well, Chak. I'm not sure if you saw the Nano Swarm flying over again. They've got a little bit of a lineup for the post plant there. So I love the fact that Jack drifts all the way through the defender's spawn, clears out that back boiler position, knows there's no threat. They can set up accordingly. Finally, Summon breaking a little bit of a troubling time for themselves. That is great for the confidence. And I love the fact they disengaged away from the site. They had too much of a contestant on the other side. Went, right, we know they're both here. Let's take our time. We still have time on the board to work with. Op just came out. I think that's with Nuki. Oh, okay. Here we go. Lowell's going to get close. Already he's dead. Boaster expecting it or just really going through the motions. Excellent work from Boaster to keep mind of that. Toxins going up. How does the attacking side take this? They've got that entry pick. It's isolated of over, feeling very much alone and under pressure now. Yeah, he's caught the support, but this doesn't mean they have to commit to this summon. They've got the first pick. They're going to cause rotations. They can exploit that A will be potentially light here. Yeah, Pora coming over oh to no. this side. Oh my word, if he swings on this. Uh, actually, Boaster, I'm going to catch him off guard a little bit there. And you can see this B hit once again. The utility going over the top. Boaster waiting for this lineup, but Avova now needs to hold the line for Heretics. Okay, that's one, but he needs a little more if you want to stop that. He doesn't. Boaster is doing everything for his side right now. Trying to hold on. The op's been picked up. That's with Doma and Lol and Nisao. On the playback in, Nisao a little just a little quiet. Gives away the game now. Position noted as Lol's going to try and get that Sage to feel a little uncomfortable. The beat Doma, quick as lightning, takes him down. And Nisao now left in a 1v4. Not going to happen. Someone get into the swing of things here. And do you know what? Really, really good post-plant setup there from Summon. Multiple angles, using that verticality that we know is so important on this map. Really, really good stuff from Summon. Again, what I like is, again, Pora comes over, maybe gives a little too much away on the defensive side, but Summon collapse immediately. 
I, I like the punishment of the early aggression. Yes. That is the first time we've really seen Summon being able to create that space, and it was off the back of Boaster doing it. And that's it. It's the first time we've seen Heretics really overextend. We know how deep they like to play and wait for the enemy team to make a move. And there, Nuki may be feeling himself a little bit, so I'm, I'm all right with it. Hey, give it a crack. You have the advantage. You've got that map in the pocket. And it looks like they're going to try and pressure a little bit more. Avova, very bold here. No quietness to this. Okay, regaining. And for now, we're seeing someone being very patient. Now, the purchase coming up from the Heretics, quite light. We still have the SMGs. A bit of armor behind it, so it's not without a little bit of uh, bite to the bark, I guess you could say. The Heretics still probing for information. Now, for, for now, I want to say that Summoner is still holding this default to see if any of this happens. But Nuki's still looking for that timing. Oh, <gasps> Nuki! Beheading Mystic! Bounces out! That man just styled on him, but a quick trade for Boaster. Rez comes up. No harm, way. no foul for now. Uh, that's it, Nuki popping his blade storm elsewhere. The Hunter's Fury invested now back over to Mick at the first act. Doesn't land the second now. He's got to be careful if he doesn't get caught off guard behind yellow. That's it, Heretics pivoting all the way back over towards mid, whereas Summon actually bringing the spike over towards B and this hit again. Look at the lineups. I'm looking at it coming down to Killjoy holding that mid flank. It looks like Chak might be tasked with it, but they're still so cautious getting towards B. 30 seconds on the board here of over, committing on the angle, but it's left. Boaster to control it. And yeah, this retake's now looking a little teethless. Lol, Nisao, Nuki, they've done the damage. They did great, but they're getting nothing much more for this. Already Spike, surely. Going down now. Yeah, Nuki not being given much. Niso's found one. Boaster again. Boaster doing everything for his side at the moment, and Heretics is still trying to make this competitive. How is this a 2v2? I don't know, but uh, Tak actually playing World very deep towards B lane. Oh, the investment of the ult. That's big. They need this round. You can see the commitment towards it. But lol now still looking forward. Time is starting to tick, though. They've got to make a move. You've got to assume Jack's got to line up from that spot right there. And actually, Mystic going to find Niso. Just going for the defuse. Whether he's going to try and stick this. Obviously, HP diminishing rapidly. And Jack picks up the easiest one. 10 HP left on Lowell. Not much to do there. Really good utility usage once again from Summon to absolutely lock Heretics out of that. Now, keep in mind that was a light purchase for Heretics. This was Sheriff's. It was, it, I want to say, a half buy almost. <sighs> I said he might be feeling himself. It looks as if he is. Yeah, it was a half buy coming out, and you can see what you can do with that. Uh, Sheriff or two does pretty well. Uh, I don't know how Nuki's money's going to look at this point, though, because we have seen him kind of toying with the op coming out earlier on. And on the other side for Summon, again, they have been kept humble. That bank isn't completely Missing flush. Jack, though, is looking pretty comfy with Missing the cash. Mystic grenade. the same. So they should be in a good enough position going forward. Swarm grenade out. We have a lineup here from Jack early game as well. And then I swarm Nuki again. You can see actually Summon pivoting onto that presence from the previous round. Boaster actually going to get caught off guard here. Doma swings wide, finds it as well. There's that trade out. Nuki is happy to offer himself up for these sort of fights. Mid is a huge gateway in this map, but we haven't seen Summon really running it that much. They have been way more site focused. But I like seeing this Viper lingering up towards those B halls, that B rotation. So they have information, free information too. Heretics could start looking towards A as a bit of a stack here. Doma now being noted. Yeah, this gives away the game, but the spike is pretty close to the site here. Well, the interesting thing is actually Niso now drifting back over. Line. Lowell going to find that revive in mid, and that's going to give some information over to Summon of where two players are located. But keep your eye on Pora. He is tucked deep in this site here. Looks like they're going to clear it, but the wall goes up. Oh, my word. Pora actually able to survive on this one. Okay, Pora's still alive, but for how long? Plant comes in. You can see everyone looking this way. Going to be a little tricky. Is that the ultimate committed? It is, but potentially for both sides. Mo! Big swing from Mo. Niso goes down, gets himself out of danger as well. Backs away and keeps life in the pockets of Summon for now. 4v4, though, and the damage is there, but there we go. One player detained to none. Pora playing it right back in. That spike is still ticking. Counter lockdown actually pushed Heretics all the way out of this one. So I love the response. Jack finds Nuki, Doma finds Pora now. Trades back and forth and actually Avova is going to go try and stick this. He's holding it. But there we go. Oh, he finds Mo. He touches back on the spike as well. He's looking for more players who would dare go in. But time is ticking. Avova, he's holding it down. But Mystic keeps it in check. Summon keeping the game just in their favor. The timing was so unfortunate for Avova there. Again, he just looked over to the right. Again, we know Viper can see a little bit deeper inside her ult. 
And actually, very, very unlucky not to find that one. A good response from Heretics. It was it was actually the counter lockdown that pretty much forced them all the way out of that. Again, in that A site, there's so many cubbies as well. And if you can get deep enough to plant that lockdown, it can block off the entirety. I would like to see a timeout being played into this, hopefully. Tactically, I'd like for Heretics almost. Maybe not this round, because they are on a, a, a bit of a uh, eco-ish round, a, a slight purchase. It's really not much. But to maybe get their head around what Summon are doing, if this is a map that they don't often play, if it's not in their wheelhouse, being able to talk through this would be incredibly useful. Yeah, and one thing to note here, obviously, Summon, we're talking about that mid-wall, and I said that I'd like to see a play off the back of it. But that's a massive conditioning factor. Time and time again, if they're not able to get those sight lines from Boiler, they're not really getting any presence shown in mid, no information from that. A little bit of entertainment in the break. Thank you for that, observers. Okay, so it is just a quick tech pause. It is not tactical, don't worry. We'll let you know when it is. Uh, they just want to get things sorted out. I think it's Summon just going through, uh, you know, just a couple of bits and pieces. So hopefully everything gets righted, but you obviously don't want to... Uh, mess around in these games. You want everything to be tickety-boo. So, looking at Heretics, though, I... I, <laughs> I think he's trying to learn a new lineup here, Lauren. I think he just <laughs> likes playing catch. <laughs> it's like, have you played... Uh, is oh, no, he's concentrating. Look, he's learning. Right nah, now. nah, nah. Have you played Phasmophobia yet? Of you course. Just, honestly, the basketball is literally my favourite thing. Oh, yeah. What's yeah. your score right now? Uh, I got up to 666 and I stopped. 1300. <clears throat> oh, no. Someone help him. Uh, but, yeah, this will just be a quick little tech hopefully that gets fixed up but I, I do want to say overall considering this is a map that we haven't seen heretics play this is not a bad performance yet um again attacking side is still quite tricky to make work and we are seeing that someone know exactly what to do on that so it does seem as though it's it's far more comfortable but i i don't know what the marker of success is here we don't know okay a, a professional or high tier level what is the side bias looking like I'm thinking into the future. I'm thinking second half here. Okay. Obviously, some and go to defense. I'm thinking back to mm. bind. And again, a lot of what they prepared relied on the enemy team kind of giving something up, right? They were playing very deep with these setups. Again, thinking yep. about that teleporter in the A short with the Viper utility. Heretics haven't really leaned towards that play style. No. Again, we know they like to sit deep and they like they like to react. So I'm wondering really if some and have any of these defensive executes. We saw a little hint of on ascent, but we know how that played out. Yeah, I do say that this map, though, defensively, you do need a bit of information. Mm -hmm. uh, considering how long the rotations are, it is very tricky. And especially with mid being such a pivotal area to cut those rotations off, you would like that early info. But as we've seen for now, Summoner punishing that. Avova has been getting away every now and then with it, but mostly Boaster's kept him in check. So the little jump peek there from Avova. <laughs> Doesn't want to overcommit towards it. Takes a touch of damage, but will fall away. So somewhat information garnered and maybe a missed call here coming out from Heretics. Going to stack towards B, but that spike Mid -creep. is creeping towards middle. Who is going to be on the other side of this? It's Niso with that frenzy. Up close, personal, 12 bullets, but yeah, nice little pick. Oh, oh, no! That could have been huge what? for Boaster. How did he just save the day then? Where there was three go? of them stacked up. It seemed to just go right in between them. It did a lot of damage to Doma, but obviously on that Sage, he's able to heal back up, and that's going to give A control over to Summon now. They're wary of more presence here from Heretics, but as we can see on the minimap, all four locked over to B side. Yeah, this is this is nice from Summon. Good little adjustment. I like those off left. angle there yep. towards middle. He should be able to catch a few potentially. Yep, gets poorer. Different bit of a plant coming in, no problem. This Spike is all perfectly planted. fine. I can't believe that. That's a, that's a raise main's dream right there. Peeking, <laughs> finding three, but just nothing. Absolutely nothing off that showstopper. It, 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 it can grenade. sting. It definitely does sting. We are going to be looking towards those final three players for Heretics, see if they can do any damage. Obviously, for Summon, you are going to be wanting to keep those rifles safely in your pockets, and they are for now. Well, they're going to be noted. Nice little angle for Jack there. Going to be keeping himself safe. And I like this discipline being shown yes. from Summon. Yep. And a flawless round to boot, a prime gaming one at that. That is exactly what you want to be seeing in these rounds, is a good anti-eco. Yeah, again, and do you know what? It, it's the discipline factor, buddy, enough that we we saw them try to pull off on Ascent, but it, actually on the flip side of that, it was Heretics just having a couple of individuals that were just landing shots time and time again. And it's that trade that was coming in from Heretics. 30 seconds and this is Mo in that spot we're talking about. But again, love this, gets the kill, backs up, peels away, absolute safety play. Yeah, and that's what you want. You do not want any danger. They're allowing no threats to build for Heretics, which is perfect. We know what Heretics can get like. Now, for them, though, the scoreline can get a little bit scary at this point. Three rounds is okay, but it's definitely not enough to play with at this point. You want more Pora up Push on the off this time. Yeah, this is a very deep push. And look, he's found Doma. Hold your horses. That's a clean pick and no trade off the back. 
Yeah, turret going to give the information away of Niso's position, but Shapora, that overlook spot now. Actually, I want to see, see when Nuki pushes this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he's tucked all the way down through Chu. Oh. Actually, Mystic all the way back in spawn going to find that one. So Nuki may be getting a little overzealous there after that first blood. Yeah, that'll call in the Killjoy to now have to take up the position towards Boaster. mid. Lol, gets found, not necessarily for free. Boaster does get around it. Avova's still here, but they know that Avova's been playing no the site. Work. Good Run. shoulder peek to clear as you go. Boaster going to pop the ult to clear it out as well. This is very well played from Summon. Methodical on approach. Boaster now cresting the corner. Poor has made presence noted. Boaster bangs out Avova and Heretic's down to two now. Oh, they're backing again. Again, yeah. Whew. I mean, uh, uh, this is actually textbook from Summon drawing this rotation out. Time and time again. Actually, left. Pora might catch one on the cross, but he actually misses both shots there, unfortunately, with the operator. A rare miss from this young man. Oh, Mystic actually creeping back over towards it. Pora going to find that one. Now well, maybe rethink his approach. Spike's still not gone down, so a lot of time here. Four heretics, not so much on the side of Summon FC. 11 seconds Ten left seconds on the clock left. here. Nito trying to find something to stop the spike Spike's from going down. They're both on the site, which is a problem. This opens up a chance. Boaster again. Boaster is refusing to lose at this point. We, I, I, I've got to say, when Angel was popping off for his side for FPX, he was leading from the front. He was doing excellent work. He was stepping up for his side. And Boaster's been doing somewhat similar here. I said on map one, it was a weaker performance from Boaster. Map two, he's come out swinging. 15 to 5. 15 and 5, yeah. And look at him. I he mean, knows he, it. He's pumped up now. He's gassed. Love to see that. And... Uh, Again, maybe, you know, uh, momentum is a bigger factor for someone once they're kind of backed into a corner. And, I mean, Mitch made an interesting point. They kind of just roll over and die when they're losing a map. And now get they're looking to get, get that confidence way. back. And a fast hit this time through. First time we've seen it from someone. Mo going to find poor off the rip with the Blade Storm. Which made me think of Bay Blades. Uh, the heretics are working, yeah, with a lot less here. So keep that in mind. They have one rifle, and if this gets taken... Wait, so? wait, what? He gets three? three? Summon just walked into him. He was the only dangerous member of heretics this round. One they had everything ready. else. And with the ultimate still up for Nuki, they've done the dirty. Shaq is probably baffled, confused, frustrated. Oh... That is harsh to witness. Great play, of course, keeping that rifle and picking up those three was excellent. But I felt that trade should have been there for Summon. It should have. I mean, it was three one-by-ones. Um, Niso's done fantastically well. Take nothing away from that. But again, <laughs> confidence coming out in that early round. They got mid-control instantly. Look at this. First comes through. Boaster a little slow to react to it. But again, I think potentially Mo watching for that upper angle on backside. Um, it's unfortunate. Again, it's, it's, it's a cheeky little angle from Niso, so can't take anything away from him. No, and again, if you know Heretics by this point, we know that their individuals are pretty spicy. They are definitely good enough to pull off those moments. Summon overall have looked substantially more consistent on this map, but there's still danger to be had. Keep in mind, this is a very, very early fight coming up between these two, but it's all a ruse. Look at the <gasps> spike. Look at where the spike's going. Horror. Might get the information, but it might be a misread. Oh, Chax just better right now. Even finds one towards mid, but now Viper, Avoba. Avoba's going to call this. Hey, they're, they're, they're over B. They're, there's no one at A. Get over here. I need help. Gets to see a shoulder. I thought the second could have come in, but Mo with an excellent trade and takes it further. Oh, Nuki's you just about kept that one in, but the res comes out. Good investment, I feel, here. This retake could have gone dangerous, but what can Niso do about this? Not much. Maybe a little more than expected. Just about adjust. Pops the old oh. poster again. The anti-raise here. That's a huge kill. Niso had them tunneled into that tight spot behind yellow and over towards B lane. Unfortunately, once again, not getting any value whatsoever off the showstopper. Doma holding a deep off angle away from yellow. Gonna pick up Nuki. Seven for the scoreline here. Last Going into the final the round half. of this half, Lauren. Yeah, and the scoreline can feel drastically different depending on where this round goes. Eight rounds looks pretty comfy. Feels pretty good. Oh, almost a double digits. But coming up against you five, you're like, well, that's, that's actually not a bad half considering they don't play this map as much. So again, we'll have to have a little look back and see, you know, how it ends up shaking up on this final one. But for me, this is good seeing a little bit of what made Summon great in those previous series. I think we're getting a little bit of a reminder here. If some of you missed it, the these guys, play. yeah, they have come to play on this map. But Heretics are not taking this laying down. Again, I mean, actually, this is a good response initially from Heretics looking for this deep A 
Site control pushing all the way up. Niso once again tucking, trying to cause a nuisance for Chak on that killjoy. But once again, a B lean here from Summon FC and Lowell and Avova playing very, very close contact on lane. Avova's been having a hard time with this. Mm -hmm. That's going to help. Yeah. Oh, it goes up. Lane. Yep, that does exactly what you said. It cuts it off. It makes it very tricky to play through. So Avova can kind of just chill this out. It will buy a lot of time. Summon not really bowing to it either. Heretics have invested Nuki over here as well, but we're not going to be able to find a kill off this. Just trying to clear some common angles. Maybe just get a beat on how Heretics are set up on this. Now, interestingly enough, you know, occasionally the Viper ult goes down and the team will sacrifice one and go over and stack the other side, just you reading into the fact that maybe someone would come away from this. But Ooh, the lockdown nice. goes down. It's going to give some space for Heretics behind yellow, though. That's going to be an interesting factor. Left. Yeah, Avova, I wonder how he does this. How far does he have to fall away from? Lol, where did he just bail them out with two kills? Boaster and Doma just got caught off. I think the angle the above. Perfect. Yeah, Lol just found them. Rez comes in. Nuki's back on his feet. Summon with three, but there's the Killjoy Orts coming in. Lol's still standing. And it's just Jack and Mo. They have to back away from this for Ten a second. Seconds left. Consider their options because there's not many. Seven seconds. seconds left. They've got no time. Heretics weathered the storm this round. Summon. Yes, you can do some damage, but there's no plan coming in. There's no spike going down. And that one is going to be Heretics looking dangerous. A really, really, Switching really sides. well drawn out map for, again, uh, sorry, round yeah. uh, for Heretics there. I'm not sure why Summon didn't kind of peel away from that because they, they allowed Heretics to run down the clock there. Yeah. The Viper ult buying up so much time. The Sage Wall goes down behind Yellow. It doesn't force that push through from lane. Again, once they respond with the lockdown, it actually gave Heretics a very tight space to play from, but it allowed that rotation to come through because of all that time bought up. But on the side switch here, we, we, we might see heretics hitting their limit uh we don't know how much time they've had to kind of figure out this attacking side this could be their downfall where we saw someone looking quite diligent i want to say they looked very well prepared they have some nice set pieces some nice approaches we don't know what heretics have here no it's going to uh i mean looking like it nuki going to try and assert some dominance in mid you see both strategy playing over on that boiler position so gotta be careful with that headshot angle of over it tagged up pretty hard at the start, oh but he's going to get that heal from Lowell. And looking like this, he's going to try and find an entry over towards B. Important, the boom got shut, boom bot got shut down there because Dome is actually tucked on the left side here. So Heretics going to have no clue about this. And I love the play from Jet there to play this position in, just to kind of bait them to yep. not clear this corner. And we'll see if Avova is as clinical as expected. He has taken down Mo, but Doma, it's all on you. That's one, that's two, that's a spike down, and a third now noted. Oh, Doma, three to start, the fourth evades, but he's done so much work. Yeah, I is mean... Is it 2v2 still, though? I, I was just about to say, Heretic's finding kills elsewhere. Pora finally responding with that one, but Nuki... Getting into the back lines and causing all sorts of trouble for Summon. Let's have a look at these post plants now. Nuki and Pora, the two here. Look at those different angles. That elevation going to come into effect. All that utility being put down does draw out a, loose, a bit of information. That Myst Mystic got that kill. Hold on. Pora now having to do all of this. Looks for one. Has to back away. New angle. Where can he go with this? Trying to play the time just perfect, but now isolated. Forced away from what he wanted. Not on the spike just yet, sees one sees another oh. Mystic! So sharp in this. Wow. I mean, Nuki did fantastically there for Heretics to get into the back lines. Again, we saw him at early round go over towards mid. He obviously crept through underneath the two, or maybe up to Kitchen. Didn't quite see his angle of approach, but really, really good stuff initially from Summon. Again, this play here from Doma, and we were talking about how the jet was baiting for it. And again, destroying that boom bot. The information doesn't go over. It finds three, for hit, three here from this spot. It's absolutely huge in a pistol round. Nice work from Doma. Now, this is what we want to start seeing, though, is Summon looking even better. This is where this is, should start striding ahead because Heretics shouldn't have depth on this map. They should not have those kind of... Uh, the same sort of comfort level as we saw from Summon. But we'll see what they have to offer us. We, we have no idea. We're, com we're coming in as blind as you are at home. There is very little to look at when it comes to Icebox in this sort of level of tier play. So quite a treat to be had. And it looks like a very all-in piece so far. And the information seems to be found. Yeah, I mean, as soon as that presence is shown, you can see Boaster and Doma actually 
Pivoting all the way back over here. A lot of utility invested initially here from Heretics to get access to the front of the site, but Mystic potentially going to tuck in here. Oh, Tom Ping actually gave away two players over close side here, but nobody really biting just yet. No, not yet, and they are so close to each other. All players, barring one jet on this side of the map. A is looking pretty lively. Keep waiting over here. Yeah, let's see if that jet flank does come in at the right time. Timing is a big factor in this. It looks like they're aware there could be a flank as well, and no one's giving up anything. Mo's just holding the back, and that's a really good angle. He doesn't need to do any more. He has done his job. He's been a nuisance. He's stopped them peeling away, and he's now confirmed exactly what they're up to. Yeah, the problem being, though, both are coming back all the way. 30 seconds the mid left. Of over, trying to find something through the site again. No kill coming through, but there you go. Mystic does open up the round finally with 23 seconds left on the clock. Mystic finds another. Niso will fall. Spike all the way over to the front of site now, but the kills are going in favor of Summon here. Yeah, lol, the last one alive. He can do some work. 13 seconds, though. How much does he have to do with this? 10, none. Mystic did everything for them then. And I love that. Again, someone just holding the line. They're happy to sit all the way back, wait for Heretics to try and find that entry. And they never got it. Looking at the kill distribution as well. Vova, he was having a rough time on that, that first half. Constant pressure coming his way. He hasn't quite found that form that I was hoping to see. But on the other side, of course, much different display from map one. Someone looking way more individually comfortable here. Again, scrappy reinvestment. Back in from Heretics. And the Marshal on the board. A couple of Sheriffs. So still trying to convert something out of here. A heavy push towards mid, actually. Potentially the turret over on Boiler going to give away the gig. And Doma now with a nice little wall to get himself an off angle. Something underneath Tube. Boaster, freest kill you'll ever find. Jack elsewhere will find Nuki. How did he get over there. No call of information from LOL, but LOL just, it's only baiting if you don't clutch, so we'll see what happens. Uh, Niso is still alive as well. Boaster just kind of lingering around. Definitely heard steps, definitely knows his players around, just has to be careful to not give up too much here. You don't want to get into an uncomfortable position, but they want to close that net and they're going to. Well, now I'm going to hear the steps though. Jack does find Niso leaving LOL. Your last one alive here, surrounded. Good night, Boaster. Good it's going to get it, and yeah, they played that very well. The timing was just right. Yeah, re again, really, really nice angles to hold on to any threat that comes through mid. Obviously, that wall up from Doma to hold on to the control underneath Tube. But really, really good stuff defensively here from Summon. Again, we'll wait for the full buy round. Right now, it looks like maybe Mo and Boast are going to hold on to the SMGs. And a bit of life, as you can see on the face of Boaster here. They needed this. You could see that they were a little flat on map one. The fundamentals weren't there. The individuals weren't there. These, you know, it, was, it was a little unfortunate, but double digits now in map two. More competitive, Welcome five rounds against world. them, but early ult being popped here. Where is that? Okay, towards A. So A's under wraps, I guess, for now. Doesn't look like the early intention coming out from the attacking side. They are taking a scrap towards B long. We do see a pick coming in. Niso going to be forced to fight, or either wall could be placed, but a pixel out of place and say goodnight, Doma. And Niso okay. looks to want to take this first. Oh. We didn't see that, don't worry. Poor little, poor little Boombot doing the best it can. 3v3 now. Let's see where Pora is going. Spike to be I retrieved. And it looks like heading towards B at least for now. Pora actually got his you lockdown as well, so. We know how big a factor that can be. Lowell going to get Nuki back on his feet. As I was just saying, the lockdown, especially over on B site, you can make it almost impossible if you can run the clock down to get this spike diffused in. So very, very close. Pora going to get the spike down close by. But actually, some damage coming through the Radionite crate there, just next to default. And they will Ooh, find it. Most bang. actually finds that again, yeah. Yeah, straight spamming that spot. You cannot plant there. They are so prepared for this. 30 seconds now. Everyone's congregating on the site. Niso's oh. got to make a play happen. And look at those angles. This is not favorable at all. Niso is going to try and do it again. Nuki builds him out from one, but he needs more. They need some safety, some security. And Mo gives them none of that. Spam on the wall, up and over. But it's Boaster to do it. Lol now left in a 1v2. Gets the oh. wall. Sick work from Lowell at the very end. Someone just had to stay alive, but you cannot escape his eyes. No, I think that that came down to Boaster kind of swinging on that. Mo was so keen to try and trade it, but all they had to do was back up. There was no chance they were going to be able to get the spike down there. So a little bit of a hiccup, if I'm honest, from Summon FC, not reading the clock effectively. Yeah, hopefully we get a little look back at that Red Bull clutch coming in. That was actually pretty, 
pretty solid. And, ex and this is where we went. I, I hope that they'd back away. I mean, Mo's kind of dead at this point, but jumping on that? 6 HP. Yeah. Yeah. I think desperation play. I mean, it, it, it comes down to just being so keen to trade Boaster when he swings. I guess he hears the gunshots and tries to make something work. And now 10 to 6. The window's open. It's just, you know, a little breeze is coming through for Heretics, but it's not much right now. This has been Summon's map, and we now see the op coming out for Mo. We're seeing Nookie looking for something, but Mo's the first one to strike. And there's a follow-up as well. This is Heretics getting caught off guard. They had no idea what they were walking into. Jack finding a load of damage through the edge there with a nano swarm onto that. Mo actually swings out, but the Bulldog finds the headshot, and three members of Heretics are actually going to get themselves up into the kitchen. Oh, we've got to be careful there, because we saw Doma all the way over in the spawn. Sorry, it wasn't Dover. It was, yeah, it was Dover over in the yeah. corner here. He's walled himself back. Yeah, this is awkward, though, because those pink shots can really hurt. Doma needs to back away. Does have the heal, does have the res. Okay, someone kind of getting themselves out of trouble here because this was looking a little rough around the edges. Niso. Niso's found another poster. Where are you? Your team needs you right now, and they are not getting the help they need. I think Avova just popped the ult as well, potentially. I'm not too sure. I don't see it, but definitely heard it. Yeah, there it is. Excuse me. Now, Mystic trying to work the way back in, but you can see these angles. They are hard. They are trading. If he gets contact on one, the other will swing. I think he knows that. Mm -hmm. Looking like they're opting to peel back a little bit. Again, that Viper ultimate coming down. And because of the way B works, again, you can cut off so much control because it's these tight little alleyways that lead through. It makes it very, very difficult to retake. This one's going to be a seventh on the board for Heretics, but I mean, I like it initially, you know, that, that hold over on Tube, attack in particular, in terms of utility and finding that damage, but Heritage just looked to kind of overwhelm him there in that kitchen position. Okay, this is Heretics now bounding back a little bit here. Need to see someone get a grip of this. You don't want to get that confidence building for Heretics, because we know what can happen. This is meant to be the map for some. There are double digits, though, so they are very close to getting across that finish line, but Heretics will have a better buy here. Have overplayed very well, even with that Bulldog. Surprised he made so much of that. Hasn't been a big game for him. Same for Pora. I'm looking at Pora to step up. Obviously, a Killjoy, maybe, you know, more for utility than anything at the moment, but I would like to see a bit more. We know what Pora can do when he gets going. It's more we know how good he is. A little set piece there just to deny that mid-peak if required. I like that. It's got intention to it. But a slower start for Heretics this time. Take map control. I was going to say, Mo is actually tucked underneath Boiler in front of it. So very aggressive angle here. We're used to seeing Jets in spots like that. It's the one and done. Get out of jail free card. See if we can find anything off it. Poor once again. Maybe looking to position here for the lockdown for this A hit. But Spike's still back in spawn. If anybody from Summon looking to get aggressive here and now with that audio cue, maybe Mo is going to hunt as well. Actually, somebody going to walk into it. Avova just looked away at the last second. Will cost him his life. You can see why mid is such an imperative area to control, be it with your Viper Wall or however you want to approach it. You, you have to address it. You cannot leave it as a, a potential problem. And Heretic's really slow on this one, taking plenty of time. No rush here. Wall goes down. Doma. Have made a touch of noise, whether or not they heard enough of it. Let's see what they do with approach. Okay, yep. good tag. But that's information found. Doma does not need to take this fight you just yet. Run. 30 seconds left. And it looks like, yeah, they're, they're going to commit to this one. Okay. Doma, going to stick around for this. He's got some help in. He's found Jack, though. That's not what they wanted. That was not meant to be how this goes. Doma now is surrounded. Niso is coming online, ladies and gents. That's two big picks on the site. And he actually destroyed the lockdown as well, so that's crucial. Plant comes in, 11 seconds left, but they will get it down now. Planted. The important thing to consider is actually Pora has his lockdown in response, should they need it. A 3v3 now. Revealing area. Most are going to put the recon die out, see if he gets any information off it, but he's tunneled into yellow right now. The slow warp going to buy a little bit of time, but it doesn't actually block all the way off. Yeah, but it forces him on the wide angle, and yep. Nuki's going to be perfectly happy with taking that fight. No trade available yet. Mo found LOL, actually. Tell a lie. And now Mystic's going to come over here. We do see the ult being kind of played around with. Who's is that? It's Mo's! Just swings across, leaving Pora in the 1v2. I, I wanted more from him. And we're going to need to see it now. They're on the spike. They're defusing right now. He gets the shot on one, but he tries to spray on the spike defuse. Time is of the essence, but they get it in time. A little bit of a misplay there from Pora. The positioning of the lockdown, way too exposed there. And you can see Mo just swings out on it with the Bladestorm, takes that for free. 
And I mean, the other mistake there is Pora not swinging onto Mo when he's fun uh, sorry tunneled onto that lockdown. So a little bit interesting there. I, I like the fact they were willing to invest it, but no protection really around that. Niso did absolutely fantastic work here. So he's just a nuisance getting in there and ended up destroying the lockdown as well, which kind of opened up the site for heretics. Okay. Summon grinding this out. The money, it's it's getting worked down, but they are still very much able to get a buy here. A little lighter than they'd like, and it looks like early aggression going to be toyed with Doma lucky to be alive. That's it, looking like they're... They're going to press this. Yeah, they're, they're pressuring all the way for Mo. It's come all the way back oh. onto B site. Man's looking stylish on this, but now going to have that vision just obscured for a second, long enough to potentially get a plant, and Doma can't stop this. Nice plant coming in. Very, very fast pace, though. Going to leave them in a post-plant 5v5. This is huge, a very, very quick hit coming out on the B side. And actually, Boaster still trailing through yeah. mid right now. Actually, back over towards the spawn. You can see Heretics have come all the way back. I'm looking towards Evova. Maybe he's got a lineup for this. The wall is still a fact here. Can cut off all these sight lines for Summon FC. They need a pick. They need to push forward, yeah. There we go, Boaster again. Oh. It's always Boaster. He gets them in this one, but Niso instantly yeah. trades it back. Quick little thing. He's diffusing. He's diffusing. Oh! They couldn't get him off it. Mystic did the dirty to him. Just, I mean, maybe there was there was Match too much point. chaos there. Maybe too much audio clutter. But he literally sat on it. Niso finds two kills in response, and the third eventually. But what? We take those. We get to twelve on uh, those, and that's going to be frustrating for the likes of Heretics. That was a, a, a pretty decent round for them there on the site. Okay, yeah, Boaster did really well initially, but there was the instant trade back in. But that defuse is going to haunt them now. Oh, for sure. I, I mean, that's that's super frustrating with so many people still alive to just have. I mean, somebody just st <laughs> stick the defuse inside there. They've had the wall as well. Mo once again been in the early round to find some value off this operation. He's got to get away from that boom bar. Doma, you don't get to do this twice, surely not. But Mo's baiting him in again. If he gets away with this, this would be unbearable. This would be Dilworthy. They check it, but it's too little, too late. Summoner holding on, but Niso again. What? This man will not relent. He will not bend. But a 3v2. No. It's not over yet. Again on the site. They fumbled it. Jack has punished them. And this is surely Summon picking up map two here. Pora called upon to save the side. Mystic and Jack against him. Information dwindling now. Gonna find a bit of information. He's gonna find the barrel of the gun and summon. Getting across the finish line in map two. In convincing fashion as well. I mean, it, yeah, Mystic sent out a tweet saying, you know, that's us or our weakest. Lol, you know, yep. continuing to slay, but also using his utility to, to take control of parts of the map. Um, and it's that lane control that's a huge factor for Heretics. And we know on Haven, you know, throwing down fakes and whatnot. The mind games can be huge with that. But straight away here, Mo, Recon Bolt, a little bit of information. Well, no information. Actually gathered off of that, but the lack of can still be used for them. Now he's going to send his old Owl drone down towards eight. <laughs> She's going to get the tag, but again, nobody really pushing up here. It's a heavy lean over towards C for mm. Summon initially. I don't mind it. I don't mind that early posturing. I, I do. don't like this over-rotation. I, I was going to say, I do mind the yeah. fact that uh, they're stacking okay. this way. I mean, if you want to play retake on C, sure. I, I guess this is how much do heretics know about what summon do on this map? Are they specifically prepared? In a best of five, you kind of have to go big picture. This is where your coaches put in the, the work. Poor, that is a cheeky little camera. Very hero shot. Looks like the analyst desk at the start. Look at that. Um, <laughs> but we do like see them being very cautious. Look how patient Summon FC are being. This is insane. They've taken no contact, excluding that owl drone that I think went up A-long. That is the only information thus far no until that. So very, very quiet. Now, I don't mind this, but the problem is it leaves up a lot to chance. You could be walking into a gamble stack. You could be walking in blind left. to anything. You have no information. So these strategies are very risky, and they have to keep that utility now. Looking as if they're actually going to come back and play right into this stack. For it. Here's the audio. You can see him rotating back through. Niso finds Moving one with a shock area. dart. Lau gets that wall down. That's going to cut them in. They're stuck in this short cubby right now. Ten seconds. This is going to be a fumble left. if they don't bang out some shots here. Eight seconds. Where is that spike? It is down. It is not to hand. One this is going to be a fumble and a half. Summon just getting swept aside. 
the theory there, I get it. But the problem is, let's talk about what can go wrong when you do those late round hits, because we just saw a perfect example of it. I mean, the, the whole time that spy cams there, you saw Pora rotate all the way back over, actually towards A Link, but he has that information still on C Long. And again, the camera is deep enough that it doesn't cut down their retake time. The clock doesn't run down because they get the information early enough. Summon. I guess waiting for somebody from Heretics to bite, somebody to react off that utility, kind of baiting out the rotation onto A. The fact is, Heretics didn't. They just went all the way through the defensive spawn. They sat deep on deep on the site. They had the utility. I mean, you saw Lowell and Niso utilizing that to cut off the short push from Suez. Okay, back in we go. Someone's going to have to just kind of sit back on this one. No spike plant means, you know, as I said, credits are going to be very low here. It looks like, is there any investment? I think it's literally an eco. We actually might see a full eco. Has someone made a song with all the gun sounds yet? I Should love have. those. Should have. But meanwhile... <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, it's, it's been a long couple of days. <laughs> Good, but long. Niso now set up. Trying to get this ring on inside area. garage. Maybe get a little bit of information, but all the summons stacked outside actually over on grass. And Spike making his way back through the spawn now. Problem being, Avova has made his way all the way into sewers. So again, it's a good spot to play. You get the information early enough. If you can peel away and play on site, actually may have caught sight of somebody there because he's actually done just that. But no rotation from Heretics initially. Pora has pushed all the way down C-Long. So all this information is going to be going over to Heretics now. There you see the reaction. Okay, Avova, let's see how much you can do with this. It does manage to... Oh, actually, no, it gets caught in the heels left. by it. Spike one could be imminent. That's great work from Summon here. Now, if they get that spike down, it's game on! Wait, they had no investments this round, and the pistols just got them three kills. Spike to be planted any second now, and nice work. Barely seeing an enemy, still keeping this one in check. And now the last two alive for the attacking side. What? Dover? How the hell did you just do that? seconds left. Spike, what is going on here? They need to get it back and get the plant down. Niso could push if he wants to, but he's playing the time. He's playing the angle. Perfectly timed. Plays the player. Doma dead, but excellent work from Summon. I've got to say it. They had nothing in that round. I mean, Heretics, they, they literally swung out and wanted to take that brawl on site. Again, maybe to try and bail out Avova. Niso's... Crouch key getting stuck a little bit there, but we'll move swiftly on. Um, Avova, maybe the factor for Heretics, they wanted to bail him out of that position in hell, but I mean, one by one, Heretics swung out from spawn under the archway there, and they just got absolutely mopped up by the Classics. That was a great round from Summon. They don't get the round win, but the damage they're going to do is wonderful. This will first force out an early, bigger repurchase coming in from Heretics, so it will keep that money a little bit more, more humble, and it also puts <laughs> a little bit more in the kitty of uh, Summon here. So you can see them back on the rifles, and you can see the money for heretics, far from perfect. Great round for summon. Good stuff. Avova stuck on a Spectre. Lowell stuck on a Spectre. And two Bulldogs. And with the full rifle is Niso. Another side, as she said, summon now. Full buy back into this. Now, again, heretics spread a little thin now in terms of how they're set up. Niso. Actually. <laughs> How has Niso got all the way down? Take flight. Niso's yeah. actually all the way tucked to inside their window. Fair. When we watched someone before, I do recall a couple of rounds where they got hammered by this window push because of their very passive stance. They should be holding this, but I guess the timing is everything. Niso now gives away the game. He knows position is noted, but that's going to be a long clear for someone to come back into this area. They're going to have to go through utility, invest it early. So it's that exchange of map control given, drawing utility away, and now someone has to re-clear this area. So I'm coming out, maybe going to spot these guys down in grass. He's going to see both heads, actually. He does have the Hunter's Fury, not often this, invested there. This could be a miscall. This could be a misread of information. Seeing those two in mid yeah. might make them lean towards window and see. Or as actually you can see this left. contact play up short. Really nice call coming Stop, out from don't. the attacking side of Summon here. They are going to get basically a 3v1 against Pora, depending on how this goes down. Yeah, Omen will commit to this. Why not? Sell the fake. Sell everything. Because now they know, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. They are on the A site. Get over here. I need some help. Yeah. Yes, it's late in the round, and wait, where's the spike? Where is this spike going to come Ten from? They need to get left. the plant going right about now. Nice work from Jack to keep it safe. Spike is in just. That was so close. Robert, the paint shells coming over top. But Lowell swings out here, finds Doma, but two kills in response from Heretics here. Boaster replies again. Lowell finds another here. One enemy remaining. Got to hold on to this one right now. He's tucked behind default. This 1v1 between Mystic and Lowell. He goes for the jumping classic. Doesn't find anything in this league, but he does find the kill. The third on the round. He's going to put the revive out. This is huge. Luke, he's now back with him. Did he spot him along? I don't think so. Jack needs to play this just perfect. Spike. 
Still playing for him. Remaining. Nice position. Can't really do. Oh, that is dangerous, Jack. Falls away, buys the time, gets the kills, gets some in the round. Huge red ball clutch there coming out of Jack. Fantastic work from him, peeling away just at the right time. I mean, it was close there. Nuki nearly caught him on the cross, but what a hold from Summon. Again, an absolute bloodbath over here on a site. Fantastic work once again, though, from Summon. Running the clock down. This, this is a concern. Again, this was a factor in the Liquid series. We know how many rounds kind of just slipped through their fingers. That paint shell nearly pulled the entire thing apart for Summon. This is this is very close. If you're Heretics, you know you've been close to converting some of these rounds, but now the economy has been broken. So they are going to be onto the pistols. Some slightly more invested than others. I see a Frenzy, I see a Ghost, and a little bit of armor as well to boot. So there is a little bit of danger here, and a lot of mid-control garnered, but this approach from Summon is meant to be built to catch this sort of play. Yeah, well, we're going to catch a little bit of contact here in Window. Most of the TP out of it, though. Or a very, very close by, actually. Did he just yeah. get spotted out by the Aldrin? Yeah, they're going to swing onto this now. Noma picks that one up. And here you go. Actually, already the spike being planted over on C site. And spike Heretics planted. don't really have control of any of the areas outside, and the rotation is still coming through. Yeah, Heretics just trying to get cheeky towards middle, but I really like this approach from Summon. I love their default at the start. It's incredibly patient. I, I think there is a fine line between them leaving it so late that they could walk blind into a stack, but this time they played it very well. As soon as they got that contact in middle, started leaning once they got the pick. And it's left Niso, Avova, and Lol just trying to do some damage on the way out. If they can get guns away, but keep in mind, Summon still have a lot of SMGs on deck. Doma's got his. I think Boaster's got his as well. So it's not exactly a huge purchase either. They, they you know, it's freebies. They can chase. Dead. Niso finds one, but Boaster spins on it, so being able to recover the Phantom. And the Heretics boys are going to opt. Obviously, to die out to the spike. 2-2 two, two the scoreline, though, and a good start from Summon. I'm not going to lie. Again, just playing this one passive, waiting out this information. Uh, that concern still sticks there for me, though. If the game plan kind of revolves around running the clock down. How many times that kind of comes to bite them in the behind? Hey, we until it does, I'll give it you know a bit of credit. We saw the downside of it earlier on with that kind of AP that they just yes. ran into. Yep. But when it comes to four buys, that's when I'm going to start getting a little bit more interested if they kind of go to this. But I want to see if Heretics maybe start toying around with some defensive side aggression. I'm looking towards a long. It does look like could be a touch of the case, and yes, commitment of utility already coming through. Short is going to get pressured quick. Who is on the other side? Sage and Cypher, it looks like Pora's there. Lol's there. Look at this utility, they are pouring it in. It's caught one of them at the very least. Raze is now around, but Lol still waits. He did well from here before, tries to oh, turn the stopped. flashes preemptively. He doesn't give away the game, he's still standing. Right. Lol just absolutely eviscerates Summon. They did not check the corner, and Lol is the absolute animal waiting. What a hero play from him, and again, the timing absolutely perfect. The wall lines up, creates a little cubby for him. Paranoia comes through. He plays it perfectly, swings out just as Summon feel as if they've cleaned it, but a little bit of a lazy swing on that angle. Again, that wall has become a factor twice now in rounds. Whether or not that, that becomes a continuing trend, I don't know, but Lowell doing absolute work from that position. Again, very, very good hit from Summon, though. You can see the utility synergy. Yep. It was fast. It was aggressive. And again, clearing out some key angles to get into the front line of the site. Yeah, absolutely makes sense what they're doing. Although going through the motions again, this is a very similar routine for him. But it looks like a lot more attention towards middle this time, at least to start with from Summon. Nothing too mad commitment-wise. Mystic is definitely showing a lot of potential of playing through to this. Drawn two players to be dedicated, and you can see that Sage floating around the back to support by that B to C connector. B solo in response, gonna get a little bit more information towards A. I like this proactive defending sides. This gets me excited because now look at the information that Niso has garnered. No one's coming A yet. I can sit here, I can hold this. You guys can maintain that C and B presence. Yeah, let's see. Check. Putting down a little bit of utility. Maybe Niso. Gonna hear this. He's gonna have the audio cue. Whether or not he relays this to his teammates and they act upon it. But Nuki and Pora have been so good for this mid control. Again, leaning away from window summon FC. So kind of giving this up, but again, you don't really gain an awful lot from these sight lines. You've got to push all the way out for it. But here we go. The stack towards C long, one member pushing over towards garage. Actually, the jump spot from Avova, and immediately the utility comes down. He clears out the nano swarm, so actually he's going to be able to remain in this position. 
Oh, for now. Lobo's trying to dodge everything. All that utility being thrown in. It is a two-for-one trade-out so far. Favorable to summon, but they're not on the site just yet. Still working up C-Long. Still have Nuki to deal with, who's tucked in the corner. Crossfire holds. Avova gets contact. The swing works out, though. Mystic and Mo both there, leaving Avova. The 1v2. He's isolated another great work from Mystic to make sure that didn't spiral too far. Really, really good stuff. Coming through with the trade on that late lurk through Garage Again, just waiting on the rotation as soon as it come, doesn't come through. He's not sat there. He's still being productive with his position. So nice hit from Summon. Again, it comes one down to the wire there. in terms of, I guess, the 1v1 you could call it. Very yeah. unlucky here. Again, he did get tacked up a little bit from the utility on the way in. A good execute so far from Summon. Yeah, and Heretic's money is going to get... Kind of broken at this point, kind of sitting at max around 2.1. So you're going to see them kind of off for something a little lighter. Pora being set into motion by that pre-fire towards window, so you can get posted up nice and close. But this should be a clean one for some, and we're going to start looking at it like that, even though this buy is a little bit more invested than before. I mean, Nuki, interestingly enough, obviously going to play the Vandal here, as you said. Whether or not they're going to opt to... Uh, well, it looks like they're stacking him over to see just play that long angle. Whether or not... Anybody's going to peek into that. But Spike once again making its way towards a Niso with the Frenzy down in sewers. Got to be careful here. Both strats are going forward with a Spike, but looking like they're going to stack up now. They're going nice. to clean it. This is what you want to see. Doubling up, systematically clearing corners. It's fine. It's a trade. Hopefully still going to be able to get in. But actually elsewhere, another trade comes through. Yeah, a little interesting to see that go down. Now the other three remaining for the attacking side are going towards where the rotations are coming in. They do have superior weaponry, though. Knocked Keep that down. in mind. This should still be a safe plant with the smoke in play. But look at that quick you rotation around the back. And a res. Allies. They are really investing into this one now. Spike is planted, and you're going to see the ultimates coming through. That is going to be a jump down. Mystic can't make it away in time. Caught as he tried to TP Mo and Jack in the post plant. Now it's just Mo. He's got already so much pressure coming his way. He knows he's under so much scrutiny. All the utility is there. The defuse is going to come through. Avova's on it. He can't do anything. Heretic's picking up a half bot round here. Really, really good stuff. I mean, Nuki getting that nade back online from that second kill. Like you said, Mystic desperately trying to TP away from this position in hell, not getting boxed in. But very, very good retake from Heretics. Again, the revive comes through. They bide their time. They wait until they're all in position until they explode out. That was a playzilla thrifty and that was a good one too i love this now i actually didn't mind this at all that's kind of you know you're trying to manage the amount of threats you could have um and the trade was there but after that it got so sketchy that mid play the investment of the res coming in as well this is where things do get a little scary but overall scoreline wise if we look at side bias on the map what is an expected scoreline between two even teams where do we see this generally sit that goes there. i mean you can go blow for blow on this again it's very easy to convert those weaker buys here again a fantastic for the smg hits also i mean we saw what they did with classics not even the smgs on one of their ecos but i mean this one for me leans slightly towards the attacker's side but it does vary I say that, I mean, they've pretty much got free entry in here. Niso does catch that combo with the Shock Dart and the Hunter's Fury. I'm sure Jonas will love to see that one. The spike's still going down. Okay. Mystic needs to hold this. They still need to hold the line here. That's where that weaker weaponry, that slightly lower HP is going to come into effect. It's going to be tricky now. That retake does need to get going, though. Mo's going to push forward, but they're down to just two. Looking at this, it's Heretics playing it back Please. in, and they kept it very clean. They give up the plant, but they keep five alive. Very, very good stuff. Heretics there. And again, I mean, able to get access into site very, very easily, it seems. Um, and again, lighter buy, so you've got to argue that's the reason they're not able to hold on to it and maintain, yep. but... Um, good entry nonetheless, and Heretics seem to be leaning away from C. And that's interesting. Again, <laughs> not really one of the easiest to retake. Um, but the important thing is not allowing Summon FC to get good, deep post-plant positions, i.e. backside of garage in towards window, over towards that defensive spawn, you know. All that access to backside, very, yeah. very crucial for the defending team to hold on to. I know it's easier said than done, but I wish someone were able to deal with the presence that Niso's had towards short constantly. Mm. He is getting them so much information, but a fast mid piece would completely circumnavigate this, but awkward damage coming out. Pora there just going to be spamming away as well. 
They are just purely in mid this round. The extremity is already going to have information on it, considering we have the push up from LOL. Nuki, that is bold. Wide peeking into mid like that. I think that was a little desperate for information. Unnecessary, you may argue. Jack is going to do well to get the kill on that one. And now Pora needs to peel away. They've lost control. Look at the pace coming out from this take towards window. They have the positioning, but Avova, he's still here. He hears the steps, he sees the players. He's gonna wait for it. He takes down one. He doesn't get the second. Mo quickly keeps things going favorable. Too late. Or oh, actually swinging wide on that one as well. Both are good for the trade, but Niso now trying to put all of his utility in. But this flank, look at it. Low all the way deep on long. Finds the headshot. Once again, the consistent slayer for Heretics, and he's always putting himself in such powerful positions. Again, I, I early and late round, LOL is being incredible. The Huge. information he got on A long then, I was mostly looking towards a Sova for doing it, but I guess the Sova on rotation, you see them at B right now. But at that point, LOL had held long, so they knew exactly where this plan was coming through to. I like the pace coming out from Summon through towards window. That was very hard to handle. But the problem is their money's going to be in a bad spot. They could maybe force a purchase, but it'd be far from perfect. Indeed, and you can see Sheriffs across the board. I'm sure Lothar's happy to see that. Couple of ultimates online here for some, and they got the lockdown and the rolling thunder. Flip side of that, just the neural theft for heretics. So, can expect heretics to play this disciplined. They're going to try and close the distance here, play these long angles with the rifles. Let's see if someone can find any value. That's what we're waiting on. Anyone offering themselves up for a pick, anyone gets too aggressive, you can see a very drastic difference. That's over this time, nowhere near short. No one's pushing up in a lazy manner. It's all very deep and defensive towards the sights. We're gonna have Pora now, gonna be getting a lot of contact though. Foster has to be cautious, does spot out everything that's required. And the attacking and Killjoy are actually gonna put it down. So this does look they are quite invested in this. Jack is gonna try and at least get them a spike plant, which does seem as though they're gonna get here. Yeah, the lockdown I cuts planted. so much space here. Pora able to tuck into heaven though. So maybe gonna be able to find a kill here. Does swing out, reveals his position because of the turret. Actually, the breach utility going to clear out that corner He's as well. Pora, just to stay alive though, creates himself a little tunnel to get down into health. He goes through, but here comes the retake. Nisto lines up the recon bolt. You know, explode oh, out onto this now. Actually, the nade gets invested. Rolling Thunder in response as well. Yeah, they've got to get this one going though. The time is starting to tick. Someone's still got so many players standing. Even though it is dicey, they are still pouring bodies out. It's on the spike we go. He's going to hold the it. Wall. Niso, the wall comes up. Of over hold on. Just body block it. They can't stop this. Niso does it in front of them. Bosa could only watch as the spike gets diffused. But what a nice intention from Summon. But great play again from LOL. We talked about it again. He's the early round kind of territory control. He the, the way he's used his utility in the early round has been fantastic. But one thing, time and time again in the retake scenario, he always seems to save it. On the rounds that he won't find yep. value with it in the early round, he's always got it when it's necessary. This did get sketchy, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For a moment there, yeah. It did get very sketchy. You, the amount of players alive, a 5v5 retake from basically two angles is pretty rough, but very well handled. 7-3 scoreline now, starting to look quite nice for Heretics, but only one side of it. Fast pace coming out now. This is much different, but there is the exchange of control. Two players do take a long control for the defensive side, whereas Raze and Boaster actually pushing exactly up towards short. So now the information now flows through. Heretics, they've seen it all. The poor actually swung all the way out from long there, but again, it's this fake coming out from someone. We saw this previously from them. Again, they invest the reach. Sorry, the raise and the breach over the utilities revealed, and actually it draws the rotation out of Heretics. Now the kills come back over, Spike goes down onto C, and Summon are able to set up. Yeah, Summon are in much better post plant positions, obviously with much better weaponry. Mystic is tucked on the site though of Overs there. Nuki, he's there so quick, they didn't expect it. The timing was bad. No. Let's look at Mo, where is that? No it's going to be coming from already here at being pop. There it is. He's going to be on the spike. Nuki finds Doma, but it's on Mo to keep this one safe. Was it too early? And now Nades come down. He's being locked out. The defuse comes in. He tried, he tried, and try as he may. It did not work out. Yeah, and the problem with that, again, if you're wondering, the Hunter's Fury, obviously a huge factor in the post plan, but the other the members of Summon FC not able to run the clock down enough. So he has to invest it. At that point, he's committed. He's so far deep on C long, he has no entry back on the site. And again, Nuki's able to close the distance as well whilst he's still in there. Just making sure he's dead, I think that is. The oh, double yeah. tap? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, you know, when that player icon appears... You don't know. Yeah. You, don't, it's, yeah. it's, you know, it's, it's terrible when you, you know, your, your key gets stuck and then sometimes you're like, oh, are they dead or not? I don't know. 
Eight to three though, score lines down, looking quite nice for Heretics. I still want to see if, if someone have more to give once they get their turn on the defensive side. But three rounds is a small buffer. I'd like maybe four if we could get that on the board. It gives you that little bit more to play with. And to be fair, their strategies are getting them on the site. They're getting them the spike plants, but those post plants, the information the defending side has right now, look at this again. Pora does have the op out and he's got support towards long as well. He has that sage there. No. Now, feels the presence. All right, wall goes up. You don't get any freebies. Get out of here. Shot done. Yeah, Mo going to relay this information again. A lot of presence shown A side, which is going to force Summon over onto the C. Now, got to be careful. A Vova tucked all the way up on Plat. He does destroy the ult, actually. And now, here comes the hit through. The recon bolt going to reveal him. Nuki and Doma find it. Doma finds a second now, and that's going to be side controller going over to Summon FC. Huge work from Dome. You can see the damage trying to be done, but Heretics are cut off from this. The rotations are on the way. Lol, he's about to be around on long. You gotta be careful now. Look at the time being bought. Lol's flank is gonna be huge when they go for that spike plant, but they can't do it right now. Still locked on the side, they go back for it, but a safer plant this time. Lol cannot stop this, but he can stop one. He can stop two. He's looking for more. They are so tunnel vision towards that defensive side. The Lol has been given too much freedom. And now Mo and Mystic desperate to hold on, but backs Pose towards the side, they're getting sprayed down. Pora, he's done enough. There it is. But lol, again, the absolute agent of disaster in this. Just slaying, absolutely slaying. And it's always such high value kills from him. Again on this long flank, down on C. Just fantastic sidelines from him. And again, it forces the players of Summon FC onto backside. The crucial thing being there as well, he still had utility. If he wanted to hold him in, Niso sends through the recon ball, so it's not necessarily crucial towards winning that round. But wow, what a retake once again from Heretics. Both of these teams have looked so good on retakes so far across this series. And it's such composure, and this is kind of... When I talk about like mid-round calling, it does also apply to retakes because it's very much, yeah. um, you know, on the fly sort of things. You don't know exactly what you're going on to. I would say some, and I love some of their scripted sight hits. Very creative, very robust, thought through. But then these mid-round retakes coming out from, you know, heretics, the on-the-fly calls, they're kind of just intuition. Really nice. It looks like we could be having a little bit of fun there if Lol decides to go for it. But obviously the side switch now. Well, this, you make a good point because I was talking about how good heretics look when they kind of swing both ways. They're good at these fast, aggressive hits, but also yes. they look so comfortable when they sit back and they just wait to react. They can play very, very loose. They swing back on. I'm thinking back to the Ascent uh, round over on B main when obviously mm -hmm. someone tried to execute out there, invested a lot of utility. Jet coming through mid as well. A couple of ultimates sent out. The thing is, heretics kind of cover both bases. And I feel as if someone look much, much better when it's rehearsed, it's choreographed, they have all this utility to rely on. They don't necessarily have to take these awkward gunfights. So it's an interesting thing to consider going forwards. Okay. Now coming in on the second half, someone needs to get a bit of a grip on this. Now we've seen them, not necessarily, I don't say polarizing, we've seen some really good looks from Summon, and then we've seen a very quiet Summon. It's, I hope we get to see the good Summon come out here, because, again, thus far, Ascent, very one-sided, of course. Icebox, I'd say it was good, good for Summon, but not incredible. They won the game, but I think the desk was very diligent in the way they approached it. Yes. That Summon were better, but it wasn't as clean. It wasn't your 13-1. It was still just, you know, more experience shown through. So, again... You know, it was decent, but not incredible. Now, Haven, we have got a good scoreline coming in for Heretics, but it's not completely one-sided. But I want to see that good look from Summon. That Summon that we saw taking down FPX. Bear in mind, this is the team that beat Angel. This guy's like a god of FPS. If you don't know who Angel is, you have not been around long enough. You've got to learn that man's name. And Summon took the game away from them. But we are into this one. We are live in the second half here. Heretics now get their turn to try and bring the pain to Summon on the defense. And Summon need this pistol. Do indeed. Two stacked over on a site for Summon. Heretics looking for a little bit of early contact, but after they get no bite, they're going to swing back towards mid. And actually, Doma going to play close contact with a frenzy here. Smoke goes down the top of Seelong as well. Going to maybe bait out a little bit of a rotation. And as soon as the Aldrone comes through, actually a couple of players from Summon FC leaning towards C Link. The spike is heading towards long, so Mystic got to be careful here. He doesn't want to play an angle where he hasn't got a teammate to help him out. Bear in mind that quick little pause we had was a tactical from Summon, so maybe just trying to get that mojo going, try and get that feeling into that second half, like get that mentality there. Yeah, good work from Mystic. Evacuates the yeah. site, steps away. Okay, 
We'll play retake. We'll take that control. Look already at, I'm looking at raise, I think, there. Yeah, towards that double door area. No one's there, so definitely could flex down a little and try and take 30 mid. 30 seconds well, left. The big thing for Summon here, I'm seeing a lot of utility from Mo. I'm seeing both of the utilities still online and Mystic, so they have a lot of tools in their arsenal. We're actually, TSAC going to come all the way through. Nisto and a lot respond. Oh my, what the trade back and forth. This is so brutal, but it's just Nuki now in a 1v2. Boaster, you can see the adrenaline pumping right now. Nuki, oh! He's got 11 HP, but he's got the time. Boast now. He's on the spike. He's holding it down. He's got it halfway. He's not getting off it, Nuki. You've got a oh, piece as he gets it. So well played by Nuki. A valiant attempt by Boaster, but just outdone. I mean, they absolutely, I wasn't even expecting them to explode out of that smoke so quickly. They had so much utility to line up. It doesn't seem as if they sent the recon bolt in. No shock darts to clear out those angles, and it didn't even... I mean, I might have missed it, but there was no breach utility. Actually, it did come through there as yes. it popped out. So the explosion on the back of that flash was the green light for the retake. <sighs> okay, heretics, this is this is scary. This is where you've got the lead here. And if you're summoned, it's not how you wanted that to go. Down to a 1v1, but it was a tricky scenario for Boaster. There's no good way out of that. He was forced into a predicament. But now let's look at the buy. Doma, hello. What we got coming out here? I love a Bucky. You love a little Bucky? I love a Bucky. I was always, I honestly, when this game first came out, I just like, ah, the judge is broken. Allow me to sit in window room or hookah with this bad boy and just be awful at the game. <laughs> However, Lol going to be playing contact. So basically going quiet until he meets an opponent, no utility shown, and then they'll burst if they do get contact. And Mo would be the one to get that. So it's going to be actually a tougher fight than maybe the rest of them would have. But for now, Boaster's got a little SMG too. They've got a, a fair crack of utility on the... Newly appointed defending side. Utility being forced in now. And here we go. Site take does begin. It shouldn't be contested too heavily. You can see Mo maybe has something to say about the matter. That's one. Any damage? Look towards Evova. He's fine for now. Yeah, not as much damage as I was expecting off that. The heal can come straight back through from Lowell as well. So Evova gets back up to 100 HP. Boaster actually now looking Revealing some pressure onto Graffiti. Recon Bolt comes through now. That's a go signal here for Summit. They do find the first one in. Actually, I'm pushing through quick enough. Not again. Long. The tap again, again in this angle. How does he keep getting away with this, though? But now it's just Mystic. Where is he in this? On the side itself. Niso's playing this so calm, so patient. Nuki's going to take the first bit of contact. The Mystic's still alive. He's still trying to do something, but he's being kept at arm's length. There is no fun allowed here. Heretics want this done. 11 to 3. And we talked about who looked better in their comfort zone. This, actually, you know, I mean, Insu's talked about how many times they played Haven leading up to this. A little bit of a surprise on my part, I'm not going to lie. So, I mean, we, we talked about Bind, and, you know, the members of Summon FC themselves, many had said, you know, actually, Bind's our weakest point. They came out, they put on an absolute masterclass, what yeah. we saw the other day. To say this is their their most comfortable, I guess their most rehearsed, most practiced yeah. leading up to this, this is a concern. It certainly is, and I think the fundamentals being shown by Heretics are incredibly strong, though. I want to really oh, yeah. highlight yeah. that. They are playing a very well-rounded game. And now with the control of the economy here, they should be able to take it slightly further. Sheriff's being shown off. Mystic, go on. Do some damage with the thing. I, I still think Sheriff's and Deagles, any of those in any game, are just some of like, the sexiest like kills in a game. You know what I mean? It's just, like, Try explaining yeah, that to Lotho. It actually tilts him to see it. What? How? How can you be mad at that gorgeous work? Jack, thank you. I appreciate you. Shout out to you, Jack, and a fine lol. Bosa gets to re-aggress towards middle, maintain some of that presence, but Avova quickly takes it away. And now heretics do need to be careful. With Pora being a little lower than before, those sheriffs, those pistols, get a little spicier. Spike goes Spike down on the seat. Heretics all the space and time in the world to set up for this. As I say that, Nuki actually gets spied out by Doma with the sheriff and land the headshot. Gotta be careful here, because Pora's down to just a lick of HP of over and Niso. Still looking pretty healthy. And actually, Mo going to find that. Poor good for the trade. He's got to get back over, though. Chak and Doma, both low oh. HP. Niso going to send out some shock darts here. Ready. Does find the headshot to Doma as well. And just one oh. man standing. Chak will fall. Heretics post their 12th now. OK, here we go. It's starting to look a little worrying, to say the least. We need a big turnaround here. Once those bigger guns get brought into the hands of Summon, they've got to do something with them. 
And I worry for Summon in this. I hope they were prepared for Heretics. Keep in mind, if you're Summon, you knew that you had FPX for a long time. You knew that was a yes. game that you were going to have and you could directly get ready for. We've heard time and time again, you know, Boaster, he wanted to be Angel. You know, this guy looked up to him, his playstyle. But how prepared could they be for Heretics? This playstyle is different. This is strong fundamentals, very hard-hitting players. Okay. So, in we go, and Heretics, keep in mind, these are the Titan Slayers. Don't take them lightly. They are the new blood of Europe right now. They are nuts at what they do, but Sullen do have rifles out. Do indeed, Shot again. Done. I mean, a lot of mid-presence here shown from Heretics. Again, just waiting for something to be shown to them. Lowell will wall off the right side of B, but... Oh, this is the route. A little bit of a fake action. The utility from Killjoy can spot it out. Jack in a weird spot there. Always swings from Garage, you're always going to lose that one. Yeah, and they're trying to pull towards the side. Mystic's the one holding. You can see the free fire on the right side. Ultimate's being popped. Domus found low. Wait, they're still in this. Some of the desperate to hold on, but look at the scenario now. Heretics are tucked on the side. This is not a good post plan. There is still danger. Boaster and Mo with it all to do to save the side, at least in this map for now. Boaster finds yeah. one. He needs more. One Second one wins it. Boaster one is still fighting for his side. Nookie, the nade comes out. He'll buy him time. Nookie's pushing back in. Boaster, oh, Boaster saves his team for one more round. Wow. What a retake. Uh, uh, do you know what? Right there, it looked like a little bit of split focus. Mo tucked all the way back in defensive spawn. Boaster just walking out of sight. Absolutely ego challenging on. Finds all three, though. Fantastic work from him there. <sighs> I mean, the question comes, what have Summon FC got left in the tank? Have they shown us their best form? Can they follow up in it? Can they convert the story they've written here at First Strike? <sighs> Boaster has been an absolute leader for this squad. He's looked fantastic today. He has. He has come out swinging. First map, I was worried. I was genuinely worried that that was going to be too flat and he was not going to rebound, but he has. He's come back incredibly strong here, and that round just secured value. He may not be the top fragger right now, but you can see the value to the kills, but it is still map point against them. Aura with first contact, going to fall away from that on short. Look to retaking and re-aggressing towards A long. No subtlety to this one. They're heading right through towards A. The slow push through. No one would accused, which has obviously drawn this rotation from Domi. You can see on the minimap, he's gone all the way back over to A Link. Playing pretty deep, but five men from Heretics here. Now he's going to come back, but the dark cover comes through, cutting off Heaven and the defensive spawn. Heretics is going to get themselves in. Mo needs to convert some of the shock dart shock damage this dart. time around. Five Maybe planted. try and stop that, but once again, nothing off that utility. They needed something here, some damage, something more than this. Poor is a little lower, sure, but it's really not much. Mo trying to find some information, you should get run. them away back in. Oh, and there we go. This is going to get problematic. This is going to be trickier for Heretics. Maybe time for that retake to start building, but they have to find a pick soon. Dome is going to be given the first one. That's the start of Ova. Going to try and time it just right. Player is detained. Oh. Ova is not, but that is a great check from Jack. Going to find a Vova. Nade comes out. We're down to Nuki and Lol. Nuki going to try and fly himself in there. Too many targets, and the defuse comes through. Summon. Live to fight one more round again. Really, really good retake there. Again, I love the way of over tried to play his ult there. Coming all the way out, waiting for the lockdown to expire and popping back in. But Summon, they're smart to the trick. They come through, they clear through. Fantastic retake. Once again, how many times have we talked about it? They can show up in these retake scenarios, Lauren. I mean, how many times has LOL gotten away with like sitting like next to that wall? Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you've got to be checking that now, right? <laughs> I love that idea, but these retakes are so well choreographed coming in from someone. Lovely, lovely work from the guys. So credit where it's due to them. Brawl, so to say. It has been, and in 13 seconds we start what could be the final map. It's on Summon to try and make something happen. They have to dig deep here. It's their time to shine. If there's any moment, it has to be now. Otherwise, Heretics... They'll be the ones walking away with that first really place, area. and here we go. Someone will be on the attack, and Heretics on the defensive side. All right, going to tuck that spy cam down again, given some information over to him that potentially a B here coming through. But again, eyes back towards the minimap. Look at Summon FC, FC's position. The spike all the way behind Fountain. One tucked up on short, and here you go. All three going to TP back through, but there's three members of Heretics over on A side still. They haven't rotated. Heretics should plant their feet. If they watch that FPX game, they know that someone are going to run around this map constantly. And you're seeing it right now. Look at Viper, look at the spike, and look at where it's going. 
all the way back over to B long. So mind games again coming out from Summon FC in the pistol round. And Pora has to hold strong here. He's actually going to hop up into window. He's still got his trap wire set up the there. Screen down. But again, if he can stay alive, nobody from Summon FC actually pressuring towards window. But having said that, Mogan is the teleport here. And he's no actually going to find Pora. That's huge for Summon FC. Absolutely perfect play to isolate the player in towards our window room. And we know the post plan is strong. This is a purely play, choreographed yeah. round from Summon. Their strength now being shown. But the retakes from Heretics have been on point. But on point is Doma. That's going to be one can't turn quick enough. Nuki Out on the trade. Charges. And now three stand for Heretics. Wait, they're on the spike. He's area. holding it. Wait. He's not letting go of it. No one's stopping him! It's gonna be a way down here! Mystic just stop him in time! Mystic oh, just Mystic. got the kill there. You are the absolute MVP once again! That was so close! But Lol fancies his chances. Would you dare go through this again? Heretics, they don't know how to get rid of this. They don't know what to do. And Bokes has just been waiting. He dies, but Mystic holds on Lol. He jumps on it. Does he have time? Yes, no he does. No way. Can you believe it? Heretics, down to the final seconds. Just about get it. I mean, a similar situation to what we saw with the Hunter Fury on Haven. Again, not able to run that clock down fast enough. Do you know what? Heretics swinging in his four immediately there. That's them playing into that. They're playing into the strategy. The fact that Summon FC are banking on being able to run the clock down. They all swing out. They cause this chaos on site. It's fantastic to see already in round one. Okay. It's, it's, this is going to be... An incredible game. We almost had a full defuse with like three people alive for either <laughs> yeah, side. Like, yeah. what on earth are we going to get? Now, LOL, I do want to highlight as a bit of a pivotal player in my eyes. His control towards showers is going to be incredible, I feel. He is very solid. But this could be a freebie to start with. Boasters creeping up on this. Mystic's taking some damage. Avova on the other side. They now know people are here. There is two players very present. Look at Pora. Look at the position. Look at him Ooh. die. Moe's got him dead to rights. Yeah, um, Niso actually had to back all the way off of that because of the paranoia. But once again, the mind game's coming out. All four members of Summon FC taking the TP, but wrapping back through the attackers spawn. They're, they're heading back over towards B, trying to bait out this rotation from Heretics. Utility invested now in anticipation of the push towards showers. Oh, they'll have the number advantage wherever they go. They will be in the better position here on the attacking side, but obviously the weaker weaponry will still be an issue. Some of them working in Boaster with just a frenzy. It's not much to write home about, but the clock might be run a little low here. They're about 40 seconds in. Avova just got a spot. Smoke Brim. down. Can just smoke it off by a little bit of time. Build up a penetrable, but a wall, at least a vision, to keep that Cypher away, but they are walking up long. There is still Niso on the site, and he should be watching this. He is holding Busted. the angle, pa like, not passively, completely actively, a very similar hit coming through here. Niso's gonna commit in towards this. He's not afraid, but maybe he should be. Boaster bursts out, Spike goes down. Avova has held position, Spike though. Planted. This time, the retake is gonna be quite tricky with just three of them alive. Summon have all those players standing. And again, maintaining B-Long control. What I want to see Heretics do is try and pressure that position away, weaken this post plant strength Headshot. the summon have. But actually, Lowell going to find two kills. Oh! He finds the third as well. He's got absolutely huge already. Mystic's still alive, though. We know what this post plant can do. They have to pressure him down now, and they can't do it. He it looks like they're running out of options. Rezon Luki comes in. Wait, they found Jack. Where is Mystic? The man's clutched before, but he's got to do it again. That's one. He can't get more. Oh dear, Heretics this time should oh, be able to get it going, but this is going to be close again. I mean, it's just their ability to run the clock Wait. down this now. No, he's got that. He's got okay, that. okay, <laughs> I get a little nervous. Yeah. <laughs> he's got that 1.7. Yeah, easy. Easy. Easy, all day long, all day long. But the thing is there, again, Mystic, he's got both sets of utility. Again, Lowell here, just a little bit sloppy. I'm going to be honest, not a single player from Summon holding onto this angle to watch the walkout from Spawn. Yeah, missing some part of the piece of the puzzle there. I mean, I guess you could argue they were expecting maybe someone to push down Mystic in that post plant, but still, I mean, I think at that point you have five players players alive. You've got to commit one to it. Yeah, the person in tube there isn't doing anything. If you've got somebody tucked glass, somebody outside window, the tube angle doesn't do much for them. But hopefully, going to develop on that as the game progresses. One thing I want to see, and I just said it there, Heretics. Getting even innovative and trying to retake this B-Long control in the post-plant scenario, denying Mystic from making use of his utility. Mark has been set and Heretics now. He can control of Long. They've posted up two players this time. No one towards Hooker. They do have a little bit of utility there to keep it safe. 
A very cautious start between both sides. At low. And Mo, the only two with full rifles, everybody else, SMGs and to the D. A little bit of slow orb coming down deep and a heavy focus again onto B long. You've got a Vova and Pour in that crossfire. Lowell playing back over towards the spawn. Uh, the trap wire is holding on to control of Window Doma. Creeping now, he's actually going to spot out Pour. Nice. Swings on it, a Vova good for the trade. I'm fine with that. But now they need to realize there's nothing else coming. Nuki is here, and that timing on the nade is exceptional. This could work out well. They haven't fallen for the fake just yet. 30 seconds, no more attention towards B. They know what's coming. Nuki, left. still your nerves. Get ready. And already, that's poster. Oh. That's a second. Nuki is worth his Not weight done. in gold this round. He's bought the time. He's stopped the spike. But now the plant comes in. That's going to be able to swing oh, out, though. Oh sting, and Niso finds Jack. Now just the one member back oh. on it. Oh, my word. Niso finds a headshot through the wall there. Heretics will hold strong on a site. I want to highlight as well, you Summoner feel. putting them through their paces. These rotations are hard to predict. Their positioning is good. They are trading some of the time, but you can see these individuals from Heretics stepping up massively. And again, I'm talking about, you know, retaking control, denying Summon FC some of these tools that are so vital to their game plan. You know, eyes go towards players like Lowell. You know, those long, progressive lurks, the flanks coming out from him, Pora as well. But on the flip side of that, looking over towards Nuki and Niso, who we know have come up huge in these situations in gunfights. Once again, the question gets posted. Yes, we know someone can get a plant, but Smoke what's down. the depth to this? We didn't see the depth really get pushed by FPX, I feel, to, a, no, to an extent. They got run over every now and then, and they hit a brick wall, but now we are going to see that being pushed by all manner of ways. It does look like that hookah presence is uh, oh, for the so look at this. Pora, that is so smart. <laughs> Galaxy Brain! Pora just 200 iq them. He keeps going. <laughs> this is brutal to watch and very well played from Pora, reading the game incredibly well. Just right such here. a good read. And you know what? That's something that someone tried numerous times. The smoke down over tube, the cheeky little TP out, and then everybody explodes out window. It's fantastic to see Pora just playing into that, just holding that position. Okay, Heretics are kind of kicking things up. We were, we were wondering what depth the Heretics have. Keep in mind, this is the first true look at Europe. This is the first time we have that true opportunity. But this here, this is anti Stratton. This is looking at the plays they like to make on these eco rounds, getting that utility down. As soon as they see the smoke, he knows what's coming. He stood there ready for it. It's perfect. Pora putting on a show for the fans. They are in number as well. This man's got a following that he is making happy today. But four to zero summon. We need to get this going. This can't just be a couple of tricks up the sleeve. We have to see that depth. We have to see that grit, determination. All those hours, the blood, sweat, and tears that they've poured into this. I said, some of these guys, you know, this, this isn't a career yet for them. It's in the making. They've left their jobs. They're looking to try and commit. And this is what stands in the way right now for them. The opponent heretics on the other side with four rounds in their favor. Good purchase from both teams here and a patient start. Is, and heretics mix it up a little bit. They're going to opt to play deep on B side this time. Avova and Poor all the way back in elbow. And again, the Aldrone coming through. It's going to give some information across both ways, to be honest with you. But the spy cam above window. And this is the one we saw come up clutch previously. Again, they're happy to give up front sight control when it suits them. See that patience in play. 30 so seconds fire. left. Dedicated towards his angle. He knows what's coming his way now. Red alert. The alarm bell rings and he stays cool under pressure. Dome is dead. And now the information's found, but Boaster's there. Suddenly, Boaster behind enemy lines, able to make something count. Heretics Prepare now with three standing. Fire. We hear the ultimate coming in, forcing that plant to be uncomfortable. Spike is still going Ten down, and Boaster's still doing work. Spike Where is Lowell in this? He's still in towards lamps. Okay, this retake's got a little bit of leg to it. There could be something, no. Modernize now, Bora, you're good, but how good are you? A 1v2? All right, let's see if he's going to go for it. He does. He's committing to this one. Most is close by towards Lamps and one towards Shower. He knows the positions and this is tricky. These are not easy 1v1s to win if they play this correct. Lee, Pora, no. Oh my God. No, no, no! Oh! Boaster <laughs> keeps him in to the final couple of seconds there. Well played by Boaster to get behind enemy lines. Once again, leading from the front. Summon, post their first round though. Again, a decent hit onto A. I mean, Niso did well to stay alive as long as he did, but 
this is perfect. This is counting down the seconds there. He knows exactly when to swing on it just to absolutely guarantee if he is sticking it as poor or was. Okay, we see the op coming out for Nuki. We'll see what he does with that, see where he takes it. If he gets aggressive potentially, I mean, you know, it's no jet, but Ray certainly can get a little bit of a wiggle on. Let's see what they do with this one now. We'll see the wall coming up. Early utility exchange over drawn. towards B long. Mm, so ultimates coming online. Mystic has that Viper ultimate, so again, cornerstone of summons tactic as I say that. We tend to Obviously die. Mystic finds poor up, but Lowell gonna respond on to Smoke's down. The dome win. Actually, a weird play from Heretics. They want to take some control back of this TP that someone have tried to employ so many times already. Again, no contact over here. So Nuki and Lau now headed all the way back over to B site, but some are going to be able to get in for free, seemingly. And look, they're already setting up the utility. I do want to see how they approach the post plant in this. Just to my okay, world. that ultimate's going to make things trickier now. Going to keep them safe for a very large portion of this. Spike is also going to be very much under wraps. The retake is rough, and Nuki spent a lot this round. You don't want to go and let that go to waste, but there has to be an opportunity to present itself, and that ultimate coming out from Viper is its worst nightmare. Yes, indeed. Looking like they're leaning over, no one, trying to clear on. elbow. Actually, the Hunter's Fury going to get invested here. Oh, my God, a Vogler staring down Boaster, but the barrel comes through. Nisa actually gets two tags with the Hunter's Fury through here, so two members lose some HP, Stop but they've got to be quick here. Summon running the Enemy clock down, down, and we know that's what their game plan revolves around. Heretics are running out of time. Lol's just picked mm -hmm. up the op. It might be time to back away. It is. They gave it a little, little bit of a look in. They saw if they could get some more picks, but very well played with that Viper ultimate to keep control of that kind of elbow area, keeping some of those maps um, dirtier angles safe. Yeah, really, really good stuff from Summon again. Putting utility to good use, and it, it's that zone denial again. It, it buys yeah. so much time for them. Again, elbow. Difficult to clear any of the best of times, let alone when the Viper Ultimate what? is over there. Cheeky. Hello? Cheeky. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yeah, he didn't Same. like that one. <laughs> Same. No, I'm, I'm with you there. Uh, Nuki does have the orb still. That was picked up by one of the buddies, so he's probably dropped a gun out to one of the others. I think Lowell actually picked it up. So uh, Nuki could be invested into this round, basically. You want to see him do well. An adjustment from Lowell as well. He's going to be putting the wall up and leaving a Vova to fight Jack. Wait, that's a huge mistake. There's the TP coming in. Where is Boaster? Last time he did well with this, but a similar position TP to might give away some of the ideas. But Heretics are just posted up here. Oh, indeed. And actually, I'm looking over towards Mo. He's deep in spawn. And Al drone the south. But keep your eyes on the minimap. Pora already making moves. All of this information is going to feed heretics what they need. Boaster's going to give away positioning now. His position noted, but Lowell's surrounded. He's got players behind him, in front of him. He's trying to do what he can, but now he leaves his buddy alone. A Vova all on his lonesome. It's going to be Niso to try to fail. Niso! Niso cometh the hour, cometh the man. He stepped up to the plate and summon that spike being lost where it was. Completely ruined this round's intentions. Yeah, a little bit of a slip up, we'll say. And like I said, as soon as that happened, you know that someone are going to prioritize retrieving that. Sephora is able to just walk all the way through the map. And again, I mean, it comes full circle. He's the last one to deal the headshot to win the round. But that's uh, a little bit strange because to honest with you, I mean, if you take a look at the early round, summon usually always drop the spike somewhere. Right. They leave it somewhere in market. They leave it somewhere outside fountain. Yeah. So uh, not entirely sure about that one. I mean, not many people get to discuss playing at this sort of pressure moment. These sort of levels that they're dealing with, the smallest decisions can make the biggest differences. Boma, careful now. Looking to move around. That spike is safely in the hands of Boaster this time. I have the spike. They're not going to put it down. <laughs> Just don't, don't leave it in the showers. It's fine. Toxin screen down. Again, we haven't seen too much of it. Maybe this... Wall is just a bit of conditioning on the side of summon. They don't want to rely on it the same way. Again, you know, hopefully they're going to have something to play around it at some point and they'll bring that out when necessary. I mean, the only time we've really seen it is to cut off the poster TP into heaven, but yeah. that thought, utility <laughs> all over the place here on B side. Mo all the way through with his Aldrin. Now, Boaster again TPing up on top of Tube. The spike out for Pora. Again, that, just the information. He doesn't need to peek out here. He doesn't need to find anything. Look at it. 
for now, heretics just need to stay calm. As you can see, the pause from summon is to try and buy time to see if there's a pick available. Now they were going to get the spike planted. Bora overpeaks and boaster punishes. Nice little fade away from him. Happy to at least get a small advantage on the board here. Utility being kept as well from summon, but of over with the trade eventually comes in. And now let's see what they've got to play with. Much utility left. I don't know. Lol's going to lead the way. Jumps across. Tries to join his buddy. Let's take this res. They do it quick enough. You will not and they've gone for it. All right, they're committing to this. Nissel now speeds up the pace. He's got to get moving. Clears out. Chubi gets it. Nuki gets Doma. But we know this post plot is a problem. Oh, and he's inside. on it. Look at this. Look at the angle he's on. You cannot stop it. Diffuse comes in and Heretics pull off the retake. And again, Heretics playing around that revive, just holding on to control, keeping summon all the way back and actually securing that area that's down to a vova clearing out elbow getting to that position deep enough and securing the position for lowell to come in mystic again tries to make something work yeah. from the cubby over towards long but maybe he could have been good for two there and things would have gone a little differently this is getting tense now for some and they've been throwing a lot at the wall and seeing what sticks i'm hoping this would be a tactical for them um, not too sure, hopefully we get confirmation. Uh, because they do have enough to get a decent buy, but it's not a great purchase. Dome is a little light, but still. This is time to talk things over. Heretics can keep playing this. They don't have to adapt too much, I feel. They've got a good grip on what's going on. The retakes are working. But Summon, they're getting on the site, they're getting the spike down, but they're not able to hold it. Well, this is the thing. They're not getting shut out. And that would be a major concern. If we're now here looking at the scoreline 6-2, these rounds are close. And it's yeah. coming down to, you know... The discipline of heretics, the way that they stack up for these retakes. But also, I love the approach, how quickly they're looking to deny those post plant positions that we know are so strong for Summon FC. You know, Summon, how, how much do you have to play with on this? This is the thing. We know they're a good team, but they are a team that have been quieter than some of the big names. They are not the G2s. They are not the Liquids yet. They are not the FPXs yet. They... Yet. Yet. This would be the crowning moment. I mean, looking at Heretics, they were the ones kind of building in the shadows. Everyone looked at them, especially those in the know of the team that could do damage. We know what they've been doing, what they've been up to, but they hadn't had the accolades to their name yet. This would be the crowning jewel. Oh, of course. absolutely. This, I mean, this would kickstart yep. some uh, the biggest accolades so far, to be honest. Um, so it, it definitely would validate all the, uh, the hype around this. Again, unsung heroes Revealing could be the heroes crowned here. Certainly could be. Looking at someone this round, the purchase is very choppy. Um, Jack, Mystic, Doma, Mo, all working with a little less. I mean, Mystic, I'm curious to see what you can make happen with that. <laughs> Show us something. Looking back over, ultimate swords of over, has the orbital strike. The other side, Jack does have neural theft, so... Again, not too much in the arsenal for Summon FC. Maybe look for that first blood, but again, Heretics and their default. I didn't mean this is another variation on it, but look how deep it is. They're reading into the fact it's a poor buy for some, and they don't want to close these angles. Now, maybe making use of the wall. There you go. It goes up, hides the TP from Boaster. Okay. He's still here, though. He's found one. That's a problem. Boaster has to find a trade now, and he can't get rid of that op just yet, but he could get rid of oh, Aura. Oh. Maybe not. He's got spike. Oh gosh, these mistakes are going to come back exactly to haunt them. Where. And now all the information free th flowing through. Nuki still alive, getting away with murder. Doma finds Pora finally. Spike tucked all the way in there. Nuki now finds Jack, oh. swings out, finds another oh. four on the round for Nuki. Huge plays from him with the operator. The first time we've seen him really get some freedom with it. And what a look he gives us. That's a confident <laughs> little smile in it. Well, this is getting to the pointy end of the stick here, if I'm honest. Summon needed an answer after that pause, and they haven't found it. <laughs> Boaster with the spike. Was he aware? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. That, that, again, he, he was super close to getting that kill on Depora. I think he's come to clear the backside. There's that corner behind triple underneath heaven. Unfortunately, though, it does lose the spike there. It's, it's a precarious spot to then fish out of. With Nuki still posted up with that operator, he controls so much of A short. Yeah, and now with that presence noted, I feel as though you could almost leave A just in the hands of Nuki if you want to. But we'll see what someone decide to do now with uh, that information noted that Nuki is on one today. Ooh, different angle to look for as well. I like that. An adjustment not going to be too easy to read. Trying to hold that shower control if anyone dares step across. They're putting a lot of faith in this man. You even can see Cypher kind of sitting very deep towards that CT side or defender's side. Almost a B lean here. 
It is actually, yeah, four coming all the way over to B. Boaster to throw down some smoke. So he's actually going to try and TP up there. He does. Ooh. The wall comes up. That's actually going to. That's huge. There you go. That's the kind of thing I want to see them do with this wall. The double TP is going to get himself so deep of the site. What? Nuki is lucky to be alive, but Bosa's going to press the issue. That's one, but the trade of Ova is there and make sure that doesn't go too badly wrong. But the intention was great. I love the wall, the timing. Oh, it was perfect. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful Cage to block off that TP from Bosa. And he finds the kill as well. Now with the spike down, we have to see if this retake can work. Heretics have been pulling this off, but someone... They have good post-plant positionings. Niso is on it, though. Does get off for a second. Draws out that utility. Isolates Raze. Ooh, and there's no one there to trade it. There's exactly the ultimate right. coming in. But we're going to see Viper once again trying to hold on. Jack is doing everything he Black can from the showers. Amazing. And this looks like it's working out. That Viper in those post-plants. It does so much work. Clean. So we're going to find the first. But Mo seals the deal. Absolutely love that. I mean, I, <laughs> I hope there's a couple of more they've got up their sleeve because that wall TP play was absolutely beautiful to watch. You could see the intention, and we could. I'd, I would love the desk to break that down any day of the week. You could see the timing, <laughs> the intention, and what it does in literal seconds to perfection on it. I think I can. I can hear Mitch and Lothar fighting over <laughs> doing the telescope. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Oh, bless him. And you can see how much it means to summon to get one back on the board. It feels like they've been a bit of a drought for a couple of rounds. It's been rough. That Nuki round is going to sting. Mm. But they're back on it now. They've got a good purchase. They finish out the rest of these rounds. It's game back on. Weapons across the board. Nuki still with the operator. So, see the recon goes through the TP there. Going to reveal some information for Lowell. He's already put the wall down. Actually, the spy cam from Chat going to give up the gig, so he can't push through there right now. But four members of Summon FC stacked up towards B Long, three members of Heretics over here. Cypher utility over in Window means they can prioritize holding Long here. They're playing drone. Okay. No information found, at least for the attacking side this time around. Let's see what Niso can get. Anything to be located? Be yes, not bad. Okay, bit of info. Checking towards Hooker. No one's there this time. It was that long stack, as you discussed. Stop, stop. Peeling away from it though, Spike yeah, making his way back past Fountain and two members of Summon FC as well. Just Boaster left on this lurk, lurk sorry. But Niso hesitating a little bit of the rotation. Now that the walls drop through showers, maybe Chak looking to re-aggress into that area. Now Niso rejoins his teammates over towards A in heaven. There's 30 seconds the left of Nuki here, and he's going to be ahead of that wall this time. Look at the adjustment on the difference of the angle. Let's see if he goes ahead of it. He is. Nade going to go through first. Does he commit? He's expecting potentially Boaster to come out or anything else, any of that utility that could come through. Ultimate's being popped now, and Nuki's got another. That's Doma. Seconds. He's on the adjustment. He's posted on the side. This is Nuki playing above and beyond for his side. Left. Finds the Viper, sends it. Seven seconds. And look at the spike. Nuki's eyes are not going to leave that angle. Two seconds, one, it's done. It's heretics, and it's Nuki being incredibly good. One I mean, again, Salmon FC leaving it very, hatch. very late in the round. One thing I do want to highlight, these four players that were so active on B Long the whole time, Salmon FC had one member set up for the post plant already. You're sacrificing one body up, and when Nuki can pull out two or three kills on the entry, I can't help but feel you need that extra body to throw at it. Okay, I, I already love the fact that Nuki just went, oh, I see that you did with that wall. I'm going to just sit in front of it. I'm going to sit. It's cool. It, you know, we, we call it a wall, that's, that's but actually cute. you can walk in front of them and through them. It's it's sick. Okay. But uh, that is going to be a problem to get past. Nuki's coming alive in this one. Oh, the money. Oh, no. Boaster's just got absolutely beaten to start with. And there ain't no Sage to help you out here. Indeed. And scrappy in terms of equipment for summon here. Frenzy and a sheriff in the hands of Chak and Boaster. Everybody else with a rifle. Just the Viper Ultimate online for Summon. Now's the time to rest. Obviously, last round of the half here. Want to make a play around it. And I think they're leaning back towards that B play. But this is the variation of the Heretic setup here. Playing very deep in elbow. They're happy to give up front sight control. And pour up. We're going to see a lot of this coming now. They are on the site. We know that they can get that spike down. It's the post plants they've been struggling to maintain. That's a new element, though. That's it, yeah. Four up. Wow, <laughs> taking a lot of chip damage. 
Over an elbow. Spike, Spike will go down. Boaster falls, but still five bodies up for Look. Heretics. Look at the damage really done. Crazy. Lowell's lower, Pora was lower, Vova was low. Now they found one of them. Beniso trying to get a little bit of information back and keep that player towards window. Humble. Doma's good for one. They need a couple more, though. Nice, nice play from Doma. Beautiful. Keeping Summon with a bit of hope in this one. That is going to at least give them some wiggle room in that Switching second side. half. I mean, that scoreline does not tell the story of what we saw in that attacking half for yeah. Summon. Now, though, eyes go back towards what we saw with their debut here versus Cobras, how dominant they were. Will Heretics that lean into that? Or have they got a way to anti-strat? Heretics, Heretics are looking a lot more flexible. Yeah, the biggest are. criticism we had up until, I mean, yesterday, I'll say, yeah. was kind of them being slow to react, them being slow to to kind of take control of the game. And then we saw towards the end of the G2 series how in control they were. This right now is, is actually just, they're very dominating. Again, yeah. Nuki not afraid to take these close angles, these aggressive angles on very close contact. And I mean, if they can continue that, that through the attacking go. half, it's going to be scary for Summon FC. It is baiting out on the TP though. Boaster quick enough to do it. So he gets back to his own site. So he's not going to be out of position for this. If they do continue to push. And they are just walking up long. They're just straight walking this one. He's going to hear that. But look at how far this Cypher's getting ahead. He's already going to find one. Boaster had no idea this was a possibility. And now the players in towards Hookah, we should probably be watching them, uh, are going to be the ones to try and do it. The Ray's Doma, for example, could be the one to spot these players trying to get that spike down. Mystic going to try and do some damage towards the site. Not going to get too much, but there's the pressure now coming back in. Nuki wants that 1v1, and he's going to get it. He actually wins it even after getting that nade in the right place. Mo and Mystic now have to pull this off. Mystic swings out from the spawn here. Not afraid. Come on, take this fight for the recon ball. Actually going to reveal him. Niso swings up the top, finds the headshot. Mystic will fall. Mo still tucked inside the spawn here. Goes for the headshot. He'll find one. But now he finds himself in a 1v2 situation. 8 HP left. Spike begins to tick that ever bit faster. He knows the timing is now not on his side. He has to make the play and they're giving him nothing. A fake on the spike and they show even less. It's LOL to close it down. Picking up the pistol in the second half. That's going to be double digits so soon. It will. And it's, I mean, it's interesting to see here if someone do opt to buy back in. We've seen him try and force the issue with these round two. Poor, so good for these clearances. Just threading the needle. That headshot there swings wide on Chak. Unfortunately, doesn't win that one, but didn't matter in the end. <sighs> what does someone have to do with their money in this? Because sometimes you're going to have to let them get that little bit further ahead, but it's horrible to play a game back from 11, 10. It's, this round should, of course, go the way of Heretics just due to the money, but we have seen someone pull a couple of these off. They have done some, like, weirdly good down. rounds. So I'm waiting to see if they have anything maybe to play with. It looks like a gamble stack for now. Well, this is what we're used to seeing from Heretics now. Again, just running down the clock early on, waiting for any pushes and... Trying to react based off that information. Heavy stack on towards A for Summon FC. And it's only really Boaster over this side of the map. So he's got to deal with everyone here if he wants to come out and take a fight. Looks like he's going to try and walk towards Elbow, potentially. Way out of this rotation. But nobody from Summon FC moving yet. Pora, got to be careful here. The TP is going to have the first one come out, but the trade is good from Doma. Okay, keep your eyes Spike on Summon planted. here. They need to do damage with this, and so far a one for one is not bad. They could do with more, but you can see Heretics are not letting any freebies come through. Lol is watching this with everything he's got. Nice bit of work there on the utility damage. Nuki is going to keep Boaster humble, though. Summon getting no freebies this time. Right, Nuki, Avova, Spectre's doing work versus the pistols. Jack now going to pick himself a Spectre of his own, but 30 HP. Really see him doing much else here. Maybe just look for an exit kill. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, Before double you know, I've, I've over just got his ultimate online as well. The third round of their attack here. Obviously, they've taken the B long orb. I've over putting some kills up as well. So now it's interesting because it's this is very early on in the half to have the ultimates coming online. I'm not sure how the rest of Heretics do look, but the orbital strike. We know how bigger. Component it can be on bind. 
can open up opportunities, it can close them down as well. It is very versatile in approach. And now with double digits looming, we have to look bigger picture for summon. They do not have much left to play with. This is the big and it's the gun round coming in and they have everything invested. If they don't have this, it'll probably be two more rounds to follow. So summon know the pressure of this round. And I'm sure heretics do as well. Eldrin creeping B long once again. Boaster gonna destroy it, give his position away. Jack, nothing really peeking his way, but Boaster finds a freebie onto Nuki as he walks out. Very nice. Careful here. Yeah, really good to hold that angle, actually. For Heretics, it felt like they were just kind of throwing it at the wall, see if it sticks, see if they can catch someone out. I don't even mind it. They have rounds to play with. It does play a dangerous game, but if they could have caught Boaster in a, un unawares, that would have been perfect. Jack is so unlucky to not be him. These, they are so close by. And they're still continuing for Boaster. Oh he's going to play through the smoke. God. He sees one. He needs more. He sprays oh. it wildly. He gets three That's this round. And Mystic joins in. And Pora just has to watch as Boaster just battered his team. Absolutely destroyed him on the way in there. Or I will find one consolation. Well, no consolation. Never count this man out. <laughs> if you see it's Pora, you just <laughs> sit in. Nah, boys. Sit in. Do not give him a 30 chance. 30 seconds left. I love that, though. Again, Boaster gives up his position. They know he's playing close because of the Aldrone being destroyed, but he just sits there. He's waiting for somebody to walk out. You can play... He can't play around the edge of it. Timing's gone. It's 10 seconds. Summon, they've done enough to live this left. round. It is going to be round by round. They have to claw this one back from the brink. And that's going to be five on the board. So there is a chance. It's slim, but it's there now. Big round, though. We talked about economy before that. That was everything. Everything in the bank for Summon FC. So a huge round for them to pick up and you know hats off to Boaster like I said holding the fort fantastic play into these smokes here again the spy cam tag comes through the, the spy cam tag comes through excuse me One enemy giving remaining. him the second kill but Mystic holding on just pivoting off his contact really really nice stuff okay and now it's the build back for summon they have to piece this together it can't just be that one round now, yes, it's great that Boaster did well there, but you want consistency, and they have to find that now. Heretics do have a better purchase coming back in. They were on the lighter weaponry, so this is their rifle round. So it doesn't get easier for some, and they are up against it for sure. And LOL does start to build that control towards the showers. Nothing really, actually, from Heretics over towards B. So that information is actually going to force Boaster into a rotation. He's going to tuck all the way into heaven. Looks like Chak now... He's a play back, but the hit looks like it's going to come through. Spike now, all the way up short, and two members to come alongside the old drone here as well. Oh, oh no, he's got tagged. First, yeah. Uh oh, Dome is in a bit of trouble here. He's going to be revealed. He has to be very cautious with how he approaches this. Spray downpour has got him. And now there's three Mystic. How bad do you want to keep this together? He's desperate to hold it. 20 HP is diving away. The ultimate just about makes it through. Desperation being called upon. Mo is still alive. And here we have a 2v2 still. Catch your breath for a second, Summon. It's not over yet. Gonna re engage with that drought. Spike Drone planted. being thrown back in. Post plant scenario now. One enemy remaining. That's it, Jack. Swinging onto Very Nisa. I'm not sure why Niso swung back behind the truck there. Maybe just trying to catch off somebody <laughs> creeping into lamps. Avova still has the molly, though. So Summon FC can't let the clock run down here. The recon dark gonna come in, give away of nice. over position. Stimpak goes down, gonna opt to try and swing onto this potentially. Jack, Jack. holding the close angle here. He's gonna win the Ooh. 1v1 of over falls. Summon, hold on. Okay, we still have to keep looking at that money. We have to keep it in mind. They cannot afford to get low on funding here. Losing three isn't the end of the world. They get the round, and that's what they essentially needed. You can see Mystic and Boaster. These guys, they're not elated to be staying alive. They know this is an uphill struggle. This is a long way back in. And individually, they've been holding this one on. Nice work coming back through there. Amazing work by Mystic to stay alive, even just falling away. Eventually did get fined by Nuki, but it bought time for that 2v2 to begin. Unfortunately, again, just, I love the synergy as well. The slow orb goes down underneath the orbital strike just to try and catch Mystic, pin him into that corner. And we know how effective that is at just zoning. But I love the synergy there to try and convert that into a kill. Okay, we've got the kind of half by coming out, the SMGs, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Nothing too much. You've got the full armor on Nuki, but that's about it. Everyone else on half or less. Mystic is going to be the one to probably take the first glimpse of this. Maybe Nuki 
as, uh, excuse me, Goma as well. Yeah, they're going to be going on this. It's most fun for to start with, actually, the elevated angle paying dividends here. Luka does have his showstopper, and there you go, you hear it, but immediately Mo shuts it down. Mo? Mo's good for the third now. Holding this push back from Heretics of Ova. Did he hear stuck that? into lamps, though. Ooh. Oh, if Ova's been noted now, you're not getting any free bits of work here. Lol is there with him, but damaged up only the Ghost. Does have a little bit of utility to play with, but they ain't going to let this one happen. You lock this down all days of the week. There is a bit of spray in of Ova, baited in. Mo with the ace. Perfect way to close down. Fantastic stuff from Mo. Really, really good holding down that angle from Heaven. Again, just lining them up. And actually, Nuki investing the showstopper there on the light buy, just trying to convert a kill out. And again, we did see SMGs on the side of Heretics as well. So, yeah. so the end well, there you go through his last two. Nicely <laughs> done. They line up for him. Ace. Ace. <laughs> okay, Summon, you've got that window you needed. You found the gap to close us back in. Bear in mind, this would just be to get to the next map. It is match point against them in the series. If you look at it, two maps favorable towards Heretics. And of course, one to Summon. And they ain't even on even pegging yet. Normally, I'd wait till we get to about 10 rounds till I call it, you know, a comeback or not. But you know what? Someone are playing lights out right now to try and save themselves here. And a play towards B again beginning. Yeah, Heretics. I'm holding on to close here. Actually, Niso sending a little bit of utility to try and clear out some of these angles. And the Hunter's Fury invested. Nuki finds Mystic, though, with the Pain Shell. Booster. Now Booster swings out. He's only good for one. Avova finds that trade. Summon now down to three. Nice pick there from Doma, though. Keeping poor at least held back for now. Gets another. That spike down. And now looking at LOL, the flank is coming from Niso though. It's so far away, but he's going to be good for at least one. He oh, no. gets information. This could be a disaster. Keep your eyes on the flank. Get to Niso right now. He is going to find one and potentially two. Oh, oh wait, man. Mo almost turned that. But now it's a 1v2. Doma, what can you do about this? You've got a player behind you. You've got a player in front of you. Lowell should about have five seconds until his heel's back online. So keep an eye on that, because he's low HP right now. There you gone. go. It's just left. gone. Now Doma finds himself in a really tricky situation. 1v2, both players back up to reasonable oh, health. Man. He finds that headshot on the first. Niso swings out. Time. He's playing the time so well. He goes above Doma! You absolute god! That was absolutely disgusting from Doma. Again, odds stacked against him. Lowell playing time, waiting for that ability to come back online. He's tucked in tube. Doma can't freely explore these angles, and he finds two separate 1v1s. One enemy Amazing he was able to isolate that. And you could see the intention that was coming back in from the server on the other side. They wanted to trade, but Doma <laughs> so quick to get up there. <laughs> God, I wish they were here in the studio. This yep. is the thing. It makes me miss events, man. Oh, can you imagine? For now, though, no imagining we have a real game on our hands. 8 to 10, Heretics hitting a bit of a brick wall. Indeed. I mean, again, looking like they're going to explore this B push. Heavy stack on long. Poor are coming through window now, but... Cover going out. And Summon back it up. Boaster and Mystic now over towards defensive spawn. So they... I was going to say, keep a check in elbow, but Nuki was closing the distance there and he'll find the kill as well. This gets a little bit sketchy. They've lost a little bit of map territory they'd probably like to keep. They could get wrapped on, so Boaster's going to be super careful. And now he's getting super low. Of over a quick trade on it as well. Mystic now feeling smothered, and he is. Hold on, this isn't the round you're meant to be winning. Doma doesn't agree either. He wants to keep this favorable, but he can't. Spike planted. 2v3 with these two again in a post plan. Mo and Doma called upon from the summon side. Mo's down low, oh, but they've done it again. No, surely. Lol. Wait, he's going around time. It's everything, he gets one. And now the 1v1. Mo is so low in this scenario. And lol, the guy's a veteran. Years of experience. The plants for him, the frags for him. Heretics get to 11. Wow. The important thing now, SMGs on the side of Heretics, they're able to close the distance so quickly. The fact that Summon FC backed up, they gave away a couple of sight lines and allowed Heretics to make use of the weaponry they had. That was a damn good Red Bull clutch as well. I mean, we've seen these players now, LOL, Mo, Doma, oh. clutching out time and time again. Ooh, okay. 
But the problem is we need to remind ourselves why this was looking good for Heretics. They got up to double digits so quickly and now to 11. The pressure begins to mount further on Summon FC. Does indeed. Ultimate's coming online for Summon, but again, eyes back over towards Heretics. An important low didn't invest a revive there. He knew the remaining player was low HP, fancied his chances with the SMG, but Orbital Strike and Neural Theft as well. So lots of tools on the board for Heretics here. Again, Summon, the full buy back in here. It's going to make it very difficult if Heretics go to 12. My heart's beating. I can only imagine how Summon are feeling. Focused in the game right now, but Heretics take that one step back. This is, uh, this is scary. Who's it on Jack, the other side? Oh, Jack, Jack is the only man on B site right now. Okay. Heretics are closing in. They're closing the gap. Boaster's considering maybe leaning around, but no, it is going to be Chak for now. If they keep going this way, they've got 35 seconds, and there's the first bit of utility noted. Chak is all alone. He's isolated. The, the ultimate's coming in. Chak now holds a defensive angle. Left. He's waiting for the cross. He doesn't see him yet. Now he does. Oh, he's dead. Pora just backhands exactly him on the way across, and now the spike to be planted. They are locked out. That is absolutely huge. Pora drops the neural theft, and actually Boaster still finds the kill because he took the deep well. off phone, uh, fountain. Okay, we still got three standing for the Heretics Niso. Oh, he can't do it. No, oh, he's on one today. Rez now invested. Lol wants this. Boaster still fighting the fight as it's of over and Lol, where are they? Lol, he's got presence along. He has to win this fight. He Black does. Enemy and enemy now looks towards the other side. He's going to see another. He can't do it. Summon, hold on again. Clean. Really clean retake there from Summon FC. And the important thing, Boaster TP and all the way down to Fountain. As soon as the Neural Theft goes off, I don't even think Pora had enough time to react to it. The ping comes through. Boaster's already staring him down on B Long. They're, they're pulling it back. They're actually <laughs> pulling it back. Like, this is, this is a real thing coming in now. That someone are digging deep enough. I, I really did not expect it. They've broken the economy of heretics. This should be 10 11. Should be. <laughs> Definitely should be. Yeah. Okay, we'll wait and see. I mean, we have seen strange. We've seen things. so many eco rounds this yeah. event, it's crazy. <sighs> okay, heretics have some half armor. Nuki, Pora, and Lol. Lol's still got a rifle up, bear in mind. So there is a bit of danger to this one. It's certainly not going to be an easy oh my approach. God. Oh, Jack trying to play is so, so sneaky. But they're super close here. They've kept it so quiet, but they're on the site. Jack is now in danger. You can see the defensive cages just going up, trying to keep them humble. Jack. Nice work towards a Bova. And now where is Lowell in this? That is your danger player. Keep that in mind. Nuki could do some damage. He doesn't. And now it's just Lowell. And he's going to find Jack, but the other three will surely give nothing away now. Gets noted, gets spotted, gets a poster. Mo says no. Summon, make it to double digits. They are back in the game, ladies and gents. We have a grand final on our hands. Summon refusing to relent. It's crazy. The biggest question for me, and I said this beforehand, how much did Summon FC have left in the tank? Did they burn out too early, showing us those dominant performances in the previous games? But when it matters now, finding round after round against Heretics, and Heretics are playing insane. Yeah, absolutely insane right now. And Summon FC standing the test. We go back in. The lead is still with Heretics. The game is in their hands. They could close it out here or we go all the way through. Boaster falling away from long. This time present on the site. We've seen Chak really put up against it. Solo holding this site on a couple of occasions. We can now a little bit of support and the rotation coming through from his teammates. And it's interesting, actually, the way Chak plays around these cages. Nowhere to run. That being a fact that the Hunter's Fury are going to get invested, though. Hopefully, I'm going to clear out Chak. And actually, only damage done to Boaster. So, Chak able to stay here. I'm going to invest some utilities to clear him out, but they can't get any damage onto Chak. Yeah, but they've drawn out some of his utility, but that is a great bit of work from Boaster. Going to slow down the roll. Heretics finding no one just yet. Chak is staying alive back in the tube. Mystic is helping out the wall. It's a little late and Lol dies for it. A poor last man alive. A 1v4 in front of him. This is resilience from Summon. They are digging so deep again. The hold. 
the hold from Jack again, just relaying all that information and summon, in, you know, they banked a lot on the fact that Heretics were actually going to hit 30 there. Seconds left. It looked like for a second Lowell was able to close the distance, get close enough to the tube to convert that kill, but again, just the trading back and forth of utility just holds them at bay. The thing for Heretics is we, we haven't had to ask this question in a while because they've had the lead, but now it's subsided. What do they need to do to stop this turnaround? Ten because seconds the problem left. is, I feel, is that someone's going to get so much confidence building now. Heretics, money. That's all I'll say. Oh, it's going to be bad. Because, uh, <laughs> I mean, if you're a gambling nice. man, you've got to say, this is leaning towards two on the bounce now for Summon. So uh, that's a scary prospect. And Heretics have been here for so long. Someone have clawed their way back. Clawed their way back. So you've got two rifles, three. Vover and Nuki might be a little lower for money, though. And Nuki's been your game changer. He's on 2.9 right now. <laughs> did you guys at home hear that? Because that, was, that was actually Lauren. Lauren actually did the Don't voiceover for that. Wrap me out like this. Sorry. Damn. But, uh, okay, we've actually been told it is a tactical timeout for Heretics, and it's the perfect call, because they have to work out what to do with these weaker weapons. Avova and Nuki, they are serviceable, but they are not ideal. They are not the prime weapons to be coming in with. So for them, <laughs> they've invested. It's it's now or never for, for Heretics. It is. Um, and usually, you know, we've, we've, we've seen them kind of trend upwards towards the end of maps right yeah. here summon fc the fact that they're able to hold heretics back when they look their strongest which is in you know the home stretch of maps heretics is not able to find that control that you know they've been given elsewhere and again playing those defaults they're set up summon fc not really biting they're not pushing out sites they're not looking for early kills and when heretics can't find them they're forced to go in for these executes and summon fc have just got so much utility in their arsenal once more into the breach we go. Heretics, the buy is very subpar. They're going to be working with a little less. Nuki and Avova not happy with it. Pora's armor not there. Niso no armor either. And someone on the other side have been building brick by bloody brick to get to this point. Avova leading the way. Be here. They haven't been working out. Bosa and Chak have been held, holding them back so well. And then the clutch from Doma and Mo has been consistent. Right, Lowell posted up here outside showers. Yeah, Makes me feel on. as if they're going to TP. This is so different. keep an eye on that. Let's see if we can get Chak to use that utility. That is a big, big victory. There we go. And there's the TP. We're already hearing it go through. Now on the other side, Viper is not moved. Keep in mind, Mystic is still here. We still have Mo here as well. Now, what does that Cypher get up to? Can they pull anything? Are they still up to no good? Avova does have the smokes going in now. No we way. see the wall going back up, and there's the ultimate coming in. Nice. Could definitely catch a couple out. Back through we go. They are trying to draw rotations. The ultimate for Mo does nothing here. Pora has managed to sneak his way onto B side. He's going to try and take this 1v1 with Jack. He wins oh, it. Oh, Jack will fall. B side's open right now. They have control of Elbow, but they need to push in and stop this. Where's Poster? He's isolated. He's on his own. He's at Elbow. The wall goes up from LOL. They don't want any of that. And now Pora posted up waiting planted. spike now planted heretics would they rip this away from them? those final moments and Bora he's coming in he's getting pressured down the spam everything's being thrown at him he There's takes no a swing he's buying time there is no flank it is only these two angles boaster can you bail him out again no nookie denies it poor old strong lols there and now it's just doma and doma is dead it's 12 for heretics wow Again, I thought there was a chance that was going to come out. The TP play comes through, but it's the double fake back over to B-Site. The whole time, Pora didn't take the teleport. He sat there, he waited for somebody to push, and then he creeps in. He knows that the spy cam was destroyed by Avova. He can walk up there. My hand's sweaty. Like, what is going yeah, on? Like, I'm nervous. Okay, let's look at the purchase coming out. We need to keep track of this because we've taken our eyes off for a second. So full bite, Boaster on the op. He's invested into the op for this one. Okay, that's a different look. We had not seen that yet. And the heavy stack actually this time around. Summon FC now kind of bowing to the pressure. Heretics are applying to B site. Trapwire invested over on A short. So they have got some utility to counteract it. But Chak and Dome are actually playing okay. close up here on long. It's a new look. We haven't seen this. Summon have changed things up here. That's going to give away a bit of the game. Jack now noted different approach and different damage now being done. But do they realize who's down here? Jack, oh! Jack gets a freebie. That's Nookie gone. Okay. Avova backs away. Where is that next piece of the puzzle going to come through? Open B and Pora still lurking over towards A short now. 
waiting for a little rotation. She's got the spy cam set up outside showers as well, so the option's still there to take the TP. Four members now of Summon FC, as I say that, Doma considering you will coming back over to A. Lowell going to get Nuki back on his feet. That's important here. Going to back up. There we go. 5v5, TP comes through. Pora now look for him to make a play on A short if Heretics decide to push onto A. It's Mo here still. Looking for this one. Nuki not going to have the ult. Looking to clear through showers and it's going to be the ultimate towards Lamps. Mo now waiting, biding his time, trying to live between the utility. 30 seconds left. He's going back in towards this. The timing's everything. Mo could stop it before it starts, but he can't. Avova's there and the plant comes in. Finally, we see an A hit come out. Back Doma, planted. where are you in this? Still holding map territory. A tag is all he's going to get. And now Heretics, they've got the time in their favor. They've does, got a body up as well. Does the wall become a factor here in the retake? Both are now looking to aggress onto Lamps. The Molly's down oh buying no. so much slime. Nuki finds Doma. Heretics draw first blood on the retake. It's just three alive. That's all that stands between summon and defeat. And victory for Heretics. Oh, Jack and Booster in combination. Oh, no. oh Niso turns it around. It's all on Mystic. A 1v3. It falls to pieces. Heretics, the Titan Slayers. Took down Liquid, took down G2, and now they take the crown. Heretics of Valorant, first strike, European champions. They grind their way up until this event. They come through, they draw Liquid in game one, G2 in game two, and a fantastic Summon FC who impressed us so much in the grand finals. Heretics.